Hello, everybody. What's up? I'm back. Thank you for all the subs. By the way, final day of Skyblock. It might not be the final day. It depends on how much we do. We'll see. Hello. Um, Hopster, Dr. Robotnik, Frist, and Jace, Xenos, Xenical, Love and Sub Goal. Yeah, I couldn't think of anything. And plus, um, I, I can't really schedule anything extra because I have so much things to do this week. Uh, I will post a map, yeah, for people if you want to play it. Uh, Xenosu, Purple Snail is Rasan, okay, Splasher, Isaac Troubles, Modelies Destroyed, Mados, Melissa, Phoenix. Hello, loved, love Lidden, Mr. Lou, Savvy Hypercube. Thank you for all the subs. There's a bunch of wet pigeons, narwhal dude, liquids. Thank you. Moving is stressful. Yes, I spent all weekend doing house stuff, and I'm, oh boy, do I have some things to tell you about that. Um, updates for uh, oh yeah, PO box opening. Right about that as well. Um, a few a few things. Um, I forgot to put PO box opening on the schedule. Uh, the only day that we're not collabing with someone this week or that I am busy is Wednesday I believe so the start of Wednesday's stream we will be opening PO box packages I'll be speed running it because I want really want to do Pokemon um what else um so there's that we'll be opening PO box uh, Friday I am not streaming and then the week after that I am not streaming because I'm moving uh, on Wednesday, I am the proud owner of a home. So, I will be moving and stuff and dealing with that. I, I spent all of, um, why aren't you on 118 too? It's not any different, really, and, uh, Skyblock is 118.1. One. Um, how big is it? I just went and asked for the big, biggest one, and they said, okay, here you go. Um, so yes, uh, so I'll be spending the week doing that. Um, what else? There's a f there was a few other things. Um, I have some good stories from this weekend, cause uh, I was busy with house stuff, and there's I had a tragic weekend. Oh my goodness! You did update pajama mole? Okay, good to know. Mitchy Michelle. Uh, how far is the move? 800 kilometers. It's about a nine ten hour drive. Da -da -da. It's a one-to-one -one recreation of Hassan's house? No, it's bigger. No. Um. Gurg, Fox Lord, your boy. Oh yeah, so last stream we got axolotls, if you didn't know. I need to pause Minecraft in my other window, it's causing lag. I have it open for reasons you'll see in a sec. Same time zone and moving time zones. Oh yes, that was another thing. I am moving east, one time zone. Uh, and because I want to keep a same somewhat schedule, uh, after this week, streams will most likely begin to start an hour earlier. So I have my same schedule. Because I don't want to stream through the night. So, we will be streaming, uh, because I'm moving to Calgary. Streams will start an hour earlier. Uh, so, good news for the Europe people. Good, good, good news for Euro Europeans. Sorry for people that are in school in uh, North America because you'll probably miss the start of streams. But you know what? It happens. It, it evens out. <laughs> Isn't Calgary like the Texas equivalent for Canada? Yeah. I mean, hell, hell yeah, brother. Yep, that's exactly it. My frames are awful right now. I gotta do that. Bro, you're moving so much more south as well? Yes. Um, pfft, we did this last time, right? Yeah, okay, this wall. This is what we're doing today. This is this wall. It's exciting. Um, pfft, oh yeah, new whooper emote, small whoop. Small whoop is, is a thing. It's now animated. I, I saw the emote and I was like, you know what? We got to freaking do that one. There we go. Good. Bang. I like having the bow on me. So small whoop is now he's bopping. He's good Which uh, I saw that during the countdown people found it. It's so amazing. Lickle did a fantastic job. MM runs. Thank you so much for the sub um, What else? 
Oh, one thing that I needed to clarify. Uh... Some people were thinking that, uh, the, uh, Pokemon Heart Gold map randomizer had, like, a legal code in it. That, that's not the case. Uh, I think the initial release, there was, like, one file that accidentally was included that had it, but, like, hasn't been the case for, like, over a month. So, or not over a month, for about a month. So, if anyone was concerned about the Heart Gold map randomizer, because that was going around, that, that is not the case. It is totally legit. What is an illegal code? It just like one game file was accidentally left in the randomizer, basically. F for like day one, and then it was like taken out. Um, yeah, illegal code. I think it was just like Nintendo code. Um, how does that count as cheating though? It's not. What? What are you talking about? Yeah, Nintendo Ninjas. Will that be animated on Discord? I gotta upload that. Right. Uh, Phoenix, Queen, Scorpio, Obinos, Fire, Gaby, Ninja, DTS, Snake. Thank you. Okay. So, um, yeah, like, illegal as in, like, Nintendo made the code. And, uh, and it, like, a, it was just a file from the game or something. It was, like, a function from the game. Yeah. Um, anyways... Sc Calgary Smith Pete. Oh yeah, we're at 190 hours. We're we're almost at 200 hours. Are we gonna uh 100%? Um. Are we 100%ing Skyblock in less than 200 hours? Maybe. 190, 40, 00. zero. Okay. Any more fun SMO categories you want to try out? Not at the moment. I don't have any on my list. We'll get to them eventually if there are cool ones that pop up. I don't know, the ones that are CJ doing right now, they just, they seem so hard. I don't know, don't you still need to find every biome? Yes, yes, and I have a plan for that. So yeah, end of last stream. Last stream was actually insanely productive. Um, we got every mob head last stream. We got, I think last stream we may have also gotten the invisibility potion, also known as the potion of wasted time. Um... And we also, I, I'm, I can't remember exactly, we got blue, sorry, I'm so, my room is so disorganized right now. We got our whooper, we got our, our whooper, it only took like 200 axolotls, which was crazy. We made a tropical fish farm last time and, and just started breeding them. And we got our whooper, which is super hype. Um, how are you feeling? Exhausted? Stressed? My house stuff? This morning I had to go to the bank and then go to the, like, a, another place and go to another place to pick up stuff to, like, physically mail stuff. Like, it, I had, like, a lawyer meeting yesterday for, um, for the house and, uh, he was like, um, are you gonna play Breath of the Wild 2 when it comes out, of course. But, uh, yeah, I had a meeting on Friday. And they're, they're like, you need to sign some stuff. And I was like, okay. So I had this, like, on-computer meeting. And he's like, okay, so you have the papers printed off? And I'm like, what? You, you didn't print off the papers to sign? And I'm like, can I not sign them, like, using, like, DocuSign or, or something like that? Or using, like, you know, a computer? And he's like, no. And I'm like, really? Yeah. Alberta's a little bit behind. I know it's dumb and everything else uses DocuSign, but you need to- I need to physically watch you sign these papers. And I'm like... Really? He's like, it's- I know it's dumb. It's re and then you gotta mail them to me. I'm like, what?! <laughs> and so, I had to print them off, and then I had a meeting Sunday, and my, I'm supposed to, like, phys like, the house is in my possession on the 1st, which is Wednesday. So, this morning, I had to go to the bank, pick up some stuff, get those phys the, the, the physical papers that we signed yesterday. I had to, like, go to the post office, or, like, to, like, a, a mailing place, and I was like, what is the fastest possible mail that you can give me? And they're like, we might be able to get it there in a day. And I'm like, maybe you might be able to get there in a day? It's like, that's the best we can do. Okay, so, yeah, I hope I, uh... My paperwork gets there. 
Also, like, house insurance sucks. Man, adult stuff is awful. I hate it. Why, like, they, they, they do streamline a lot of things, but, man, it sucks. Um, anyways, let, let, let's start, let's start uh, doing, so, so here are the advancements that we're missing. We're missing whatever floats your goat, which is put a goat in a boat in water and ride it. Arbalistic, killing five unique mobs with one arrow. Adventuring time, get every overworld biome. And a complete catalog, which is tame one of every cat. <clears throat> Isn't the music a bit loud? It is louder than usual. I agree, actually. Yeah, it is. There, that's better. How are you gonna get every cat? That's a... Uh, it... I don't know... So, what do we do first here? I think we should probably... How about this? How about, let, let's do some adventuring time biomes, and then, you know, work on something else once we get bored of that. Because adventuring time is going to take a bit, because these are the biomes that we're missing. Uh, which is a lot. So, yeah. Uh, the plan is, I have a regular world open on the side it's skyblock but with the blocks and i'm just gonna like slash locate biome and we're gonna build in the nether and just build portals to each biome um arbalistic is really easy uh arbalistic will probably do just in a, in one of the nights i'll just like set it up real quick it's just gonna take like a you know a few seconds in the, at the night time um did you hear about feinberg's all advancements world record. You said A V W W. I think you meant all advancements world record. Where it's C got the sub three. Yes, I did. It's crazy, amazing. Um, so yeah, let's start with adventuring time. We also have a list of cats here. We're going to have to make a cat farm probably. How do you make a cat farm? They meant world record. He got all advancements world record. Oh, all versions hardcore. Oh. AVWW is not all Vansmith's world record. How do you do the black cat? Uh, in a village, on a full moon, a black cat has a chance to spawn. <laughs> um, I think what we could do probably, th there's, there's probably a way to get cats. I think what we could do here, here's here's my here's my guess of how we could make a cat farm, right? All we need to do, because cats are like mobs that can't despawn, we probably make like a village. We make like a village where cats can spawn. We stand with fish in one spot, and then we have the the cats run to us over trap doors they fall in a pit with water and they get pushed into another portal and then they technically don't exist anymore so more cats would spawn does that work like the cat farm you might just be able to afk hurting cats yeah would would that work uh Marithew, ambon let's go thanks for the Subs, Black Monster. Sounds logical. Yeah, I don't exactly know how... Yeah, a wandering trader farm, but for cats? Kind of, yes. Infinite cat glitch. <laughs> yeah. You ain't finishing today, bro? We might be able to. It depends on how long the cats take. The cats are the biggest thing. The cats are the biggest thing. I believe it does, but they only spawn like every five minutes. Yeah, it should be fine. Cruising on. Thanks for the 28. Ray works as a cat farm. Hmm, okay. What do you need the cats for? Um, we need it for an advancement. There is uh, an advancement. Have you ever played D&D? I did in high school, actually, yeah. You can reuse the farm for string. Okay, okay. Olive farmer. Thank you. So, yeah, let's start with the adventuring time. So, uh, I have Minecraft open here on the side. Uh, let me get it open. I have Minecraft here on the side. It is Skyblock, but with the, like, with the, the blo like, with the blocks. Um, so, uh, Silence. 
sec. Let me open it up. Uh, I have Skyblock open on the side here. But it is just... It's the Skyblock seed, but with the blocks. So, what I'm gonna do, let's just start with this, and it shouldn't take too long. Um... Wait, there's also some additional mobs we need to kill. We need to kill uh, Husk and Stray. So whenever we're in a desert, we're gonna have to do that. Also, I actually, I, I saw something. Something was recommended to me over the weekend. And I realized that we can get infinite sand. And infinite red sand. Oh, really random Twitch user, there's... I don't know. I'm... I don't know what to do at this point. Uh, but how do you get infinite sand? I was recommended... An Ian X04 video. Now, if you guys don't know who Ian X04 is, he's the dude that just... came out of nowhere and just made better farms than everyone else. Simpler farms, easier to make. Ian X04. If you're looking to make a farm in Minecraft, he's the guy. And two days ago, a thing came out called Voidless Void Trading. And it is so elegantly simple. But it is genius. What you can do is there's a, a trading method where you take villagers into the end. And you use end gates and you push them through the end gateways. You, tr you right click on them and then push it through an end gateway and they get unloaded, but the trading menu is still up And so you can trade with them But when the villager is reloaded its trades aren't locked And so you can do it again and you can repeat that as many times as you want You know have them go through the portal unload him and finish the trade reload him trade unload You know load him right click unload trade load him right click unload trade so you can basically just trade infinitely. And obviously, we can't get to the end. So, there's really nothing that I can do, because Shulkcrab made an infinite sand duper using the end portal. Yeah, we, we don't have an end portal. It's Skyblock. The thing is, we can't do that, because, um, we can't do that. We can't trade infinitely. Uh, because we don't have the voids. The void, the, the end portals, or anything like that. And we can't make it a, a sand duper because we don't have, again, end portals. What we can do, though, is you can do voidless void trading. So, there, the way there... If you get a wandering trader that trades sand or red sand, you can put him in a minecart, put you in a minecart, you line it up so you hit a button, and at the exact same time you hit a button, you right-click on the wandering trader, he go, you go away from each other, unload each other, and then once you stop moving and he's unloaded, you finish the trade, and then you go back, and you repeat. And so, you have, like, you know, a full stack of emeralds and, like, a bunch of chests on the side, and you can just trade with a wandering trader a thousand times. And you have, you know, a thousand stacks of sand. All you need is emeralds, which we have the raid farm. And so you do that until he despawns. But it is a way to get an insane amount of wandering trader trades without ruining your life by AFKing. Because, like, technically, there are. Technically, sand and red sand are already unlimited, but it takes a very, very long time. So, uh, yeah, and it's super easy. You, you literally, it's just like a couple of powered rails. So, um, yeah, we may end up doing that if we ever have, like, a- if- if we ever need a lot of sand. Uh, for now we won't be doing that, but it is something that we can- that we can do. How did you get the end advancements if there's no end portal? We're doing all the possible advancements. So, we're missing a few, but these are the four that are able to be done. Um, monsters hunted, we're gonna complete everything that we can, breeding things. And, uh, eating things. These are the things that we're missing. Right here. You would flex with a TNT beacon? Yeah, I mean, I think we're already kind of flexing with the... With the, uh, copper and lapis beacon. Right? 
don't husks drop skate and sand and sky block? The thing is, I don't know if you're memeing anymore or if you're new. Are you memeing or are you new? <laughs> Why do you need sand? It's just there's no other way to get it. And you, you know, sandstone is a material that's nice. You are new? Okay. No, they don't. This is the original skyblock. It's not modified. It is unmodded skyblock. Kind of. Well, I mean, other than the lack of blocks. Uh, do 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 do. All right. So let's grab. Uh, we're we're gonna let, let's find which biomes to get first. So we're gonna get the um, we're gonna get the badlands biomes. So let's get wooded badlands and eroded badlands. So I'm gonna go onto my side thing here. I'm gonna go slash locate biome. Uh, badlands. Uh, oh my god, the closest one is infinite distance away. Um, the closest one is 5,600 and... <laughs> what the hell? It is so far away, what the heck? Okay, let's see. Uh, eroded badlands and wooded badlands. Jeez, sorry, I'm just trying to get the coordinates of this. Looks like we're going about a thousand blocks in the nether. Which is kind of disgusting. Wooded... Because, yeah, I think the two that we're missing was wooded and eroded. Yeah, I don't know at this point. I'm just trying to, to see what is around here. Will you be using ice? Nah. Husks drop badland biomes? I believe it. I believe it. I'm just gonna try and find a location that has both wooded and eroded. I know you guys can't see this very well, and I hate that you guys can't see it, but if I ever show it on screen, people will come in and be like, I thought this was skyblock. Why are there blocks? And it's just, I, I just don't want to have to deal with that, so. <laughs> We're, I'm just gonna have to not show you guys. Um... Okay, eroded badlands. All right, so let's write down some coordinates really quick. Uh, we're we're gonna get a bunch of biomes. Uh, okay, I need to get rid of this rain. It's causing some frame rate issues, and I hate it. Someone redeemed a chunky runky visit. It's a miracle that I found him. Literally before this stream, I was trying to like do laundry and clean up some clothes, like, pack some clothes, because I need to start packing. And, um, every piece of clothing I owned was on the floor in front of my desk. So it's a miracle I found this little fellow, because he's usually falling out of the floor somewhere. <clears throat> How's his eye doing? It's fine, look, he's good, he's good, he's comfortable. He's chill. All right, all right. Here we go. Let, let's let's write down some coordinates. So the uh, eroded badlands is uh, 6363 six, three, four zero uh, negative four thirty. That's eroded badlands. Let's do uh, wooded badlands now. It is so far away, the closest one. I hate it, but you know, what can you do? All right, the next one is uh, wooded. Hello? Wooded Badlands is 6400, negative 112. All right, let's get two more so we can just uh, rank them off. All right, mushroom fields. Sure, let's find a mushroom fields biome. Just give me a second. Slash locate mush locate biome mushroom fields in my cheap world. Uh, Three thousand blocks away. Okay, here we go. Twenty-two. Wow. Wait. There's a mush. 
There's a mushroom fields biome that doesn't have any land in this seed. That is weird. Mushroom fields. Why does your sub count go down? Uh, it varies month by month. The months that I upload a lot, it goes a lot higher. Because uh, more people are able to find the stream. But yeah, it doesn't always stay consistent. Negative two, three, three, six. So it, it vi like, my sub count usually varies between like 7,000 and 13,000 depending on the month, which is a huge difference, but you know, it's just, that's what just goes with streaming. Uh, okay, what's another one that we need? Let's get one more. Let's get one more. There, there's that top sign down. Let's get, uh... I think desert is actually really close to, uh, to this. And we need husks for desert. Let's get des desert next as well. Desert. Locate biome desert. Alright, I think there's a desert at the, the wooded badlands. Let me just double check. Yeah, there's there's one in the wooded badlands. Uh, so we'll be able to get that while we're in the wooded badlands. It is at uh, 66336. What's the playlist called? It's just like Pokemon Diamond music. Uh, we did not get a mushroom, no. I don't think we're going to get a mushroom for a little bit. Anyways, let's get these four biomes to start. So we're going to start with the mushroom fields, and then we're going to do the, these ones. Alright, can someone do the math for me? Let's see, what's this divided by eight? Oh my god, that's so far, bro. That's so far. Um, negative 430, what's that? That's 53. Game money just from watching. If you watch the ads, yeah. Uh, divided by eight, that's eight hundred. You guys are saying eight hundred negative fifty? Okay. Eight hundred negative fifty ish. Fifty three. Ah, eight hundred. Was that twenty times eight? Is that sixty four? Is no, that'll be sixty bucks over, won't it? Because that'll be sixty four hundred. So we need to go um, minus 60, 57. So we're going to go 793. Is that right? Ish. All right. That's where we're going to go. Um, we need to go to the coordinates event in the overworld. These coordinates. Uh, uh, 6400. I'm going to 112. And then 6336, negative 48. So those are the three biomes we need to get. We need to hit eroded badland, wooded badland, and desert. So that's what we're gonna do. Is it only Minecraft today or something else? It is just a Minecraft for today. If you wanna see what else is coming up this week, check the schedule. It is there. Um, yeah, so what we gotta do is just go into the nether with a bunch of blocks and build, and I guess, uh, I mean, this is good. it'll take a while to build 800 blocks in the nether, so I guess it'll be like story time, I suppose. Oh man, there's so much garbage going on with the, with the moving that I gotta deal with. It is painful. What's the bedrock? It's a bedrock we started with. This doesn't sound like Pokemon. Is this your Pokemon I called? Oh, it might be. Uh, Prime Meow, Shiasu, Sunny, Bobum, Bam, Freddy. Thanks for the subs. There, Katie, Delta. This is Poffin making? Ah, that makes sense. I never made Poffins. We're gonna find the schedule. The schedule tab on Twitch. Or the About tab on Twitch. Or the scheduled thing channel in the Discord. Or in the community post on YouTube. Alright, alright. Is this music really loud or is that just me? But yeah, I'll be streaming an hour earlier when I move. Alright. It is kind of loud. It is, yeah, I agree. It was loud. Alright, so we need to get to 793, which is... Looks like this way. Uh, oh my god, I tapped to this side. Do I have my boat? I do have my boat. Okay. 
Uh, unfortunately, this is in the opposite direction to where we need to go. But I need to grab some obsidian for some portals. Do I have... I did not grab a flint and steel, so we're gonna have to grab that while we're here as well. Where are you moving to? Calgary. Alberta. First try. First try... yeah, first try gravel every time. How about the uh, fourth try flint, though? Damn it. Why are you moving to Calgary? Because I will own a house there. And I think it would be a waste to own a house there and not live there. Alright, let's grab a stack of obsidian and we are on our way. Okay, cool. <clears throat> but man, I have, um... I had a, a really exhausting weekend. I'll tell you why once I get bridging, because I think what we'll probably end up doing is I'll need a bridge at quite a distance, so I'll just like turn on toggle uh, toggle crouch and just tell a story while we're building. I'm Canadian, yeah. Actually, it looks like this might go kind of far. I'm pretty sure this is, yeah, this goes to one of the biomes that we needed. Thoughts on Lithuania? I'm going to be honest, I know nothing about Lithuania. Bring a crafting table? I don't think we need... Ah, uh, yeah. Oh, whatever. It's too late now. A content creator that lives in Alberta exists? Yeah, I think there's a few. That, I think there's a bunch that live in Edmonton. Options, controls, keybind, sneak, toggle. So I'm just going to do this. Bang, so my pinky doesn't get tired. And now we just do this for 600 blocks. Alright, so this weekend, um, because I am moving, I am going to have to drive on, uh, on Saturday, Saturday morning. I am driving uh, 800 kilometers, it's like a 10 hour drive. I'm driving like 10 hours to, uh, to drive from Prince George to Calgary. And so, I'm like, oh, I'm going to need to use my car, and uh, my car still had winter tires on. Because, you know, in Canada you have to have studded winter tires to be able to drive places in the winter or else you'll just crash your car like a hundred percent of the time and I still had those on because I hadn't used them yet I hadn't used uh hadn't used my car since the snow melted which has been yeah I know it's been like two or three months but I don't get out much um so I go out to my car and my parents are my parents have get, gotten into town and they're like we'll help you change your tires it'll be totally fine uh, and they brought some stuff that I have in my parents' house. It's for, like, you know, some kitchen equipment that just didn't fit my current place. So like, uh, you know, pots and pans that I had, um, got for Christmas at one point, but, you know, I didn't really need until I have a house. Anyways. So I walk out to my car, and my parents are parked beside it in the parking lot, and they're like, hey, we're here to help. And I look at my car, and my license plate is, um kind of just hanging off of one screw on the back of my car. Like the other corner is just hanging down. And I'm looking at it and I'm like, that's weird. Um, and the license plate said 2018 on it. And I'm like, wait a minute, that's not my license plate. Someone stole my plates and replaced it with someone else's. And so I'm like, oh God, whatever, I'll, I'll have to, um, so, so they stole my plates, front and back. So I'm like, whatever, okay. Uh, the thing is, I also am looking around my car. Um, the battery is also dead because I haven't used it in three months. And my tire is flat. So I couldn't even drive it if I wanted to. So my parents, they, they give me a boost. My car starts. And my mom has this, uh, this portable, uh, pump for a tire. Uh, and so she's like, you know what? I'll pump up your, your tire. You go and drive to, uh, the insurance place to get a new set of plates. And, you know, we'll come back and everything will be good. 
so we go drive to the the insurance place. I'm there for about an hour. We have to file a police report. I have to get uh, new plates. And the, the thing is, I am moving to a new province in a week. I am getting new license plates in literally a week. Right? So I'm sitting there for an hour. They give me the plates and I'm like, Oh, do you have any, like, screws to attach these license plates? And they're like, No. Like, wait, really? Like, yeah, you gotta go to the, go to, uh, there's like a, a automotive place called, like, Princess Auto or something in town. They're like, go to, go to Princess Auto. And we're like, okay, we'll go to Princess Auto. So we go, we drive for, like, ten minutes to Princess Auto. Hey, do you have any screws for license plates? No. Okay. Do you know where the, it might? Canadian Tire. Across town. Like, okay. So we go, we drive to Canadian Tire. There's a, the only person that we can find that's working is on a call and completely ignoring us. They're just, they're sitting at their desk on a call, acting like we don't exist. We sit there for like five minutes. Like, hey, do you guys have any screws for license plates? They're like, yeah, they're right over there. And he walks over and he shows us the screws for license plates. And there's like one package of some screws. Um, and so I'm like, okay, these better fit it's because there's literally only one kind. So every car must use the same kind of screws, right? If they only sell one kind of screw. Um, and I ask, like, is this the only kind that you have? If it's, if it's, if it's out there, that's the only kind we have. So I buy them, get back to my car. And, uh, as it turns out, the brand new pump that my mom was using... Uh, actually didn't work. The hose had disconnected in a way that would never reconnect. So I get back and, uh, yeah, the tire is still flat. Um, and also we find that the screws don't fit. They don't fit. They get, you can get the tip of the screw in, but it, it won't go further than that much in. You know, the screws are this long. They won't go further than, like, that much in. They're, it's barely hanging on. Uh, fortunately, my mom called while I was waiting for an hour in the, the insurance place. Uh, she said, hey, buy a new pump while you're at Canadian Tire. So that, we got a new pump while we were there for the tire. So we were able to fix the tire up. And, uh, we were able to, um, just barely attach my license plate. And, uh, I was finally able, and then I, I went over, I had to, um, uh, I hadn't gotten an oil change in a while, and I had to go change my tires over still. The tire that I only filled up for, uh, wait, we're going to negative 43? We're almost there. Uh, but yeah, I, I, just buy a new car at this point. It's not the car's fault, it just keeps getting broken into and get, that's the second time my license plates have got stolen. I am so excited to leave this shithole city. Oh my god. The, my plates have been stolen twice. My car has been broken into three times. Like, there's nothing that I can do, man. 53, okay. Actually. Prince George? Yeah, I know, right? Like, if I get a new car, it's just gonna be more, like, it's just gonna be harder to do anything. Maybe a security system? There's no security system for st it, I'm- I don't think you realize where I- it's- No, I'm just- Here's the thing. You, your suggestions literally don't matter because I'm going to have a house that has a garage in it. I have a garage! So it doesn't matter because I can just park my car in the garage now. Starting next week. All right, all right. What biome are we in right now? I don't know what biome we're in. It says waiting for chunk, I guess. Let's wait for the chunk. Okay, what are the coordinates we need to go to? Uh, we need to go to... 6336, negative 48. So let's start working towards that. 6336. So yeah, uh, I'm excited to move, needless to say. Um, what else? 
Oh yeah, also, um... I went to the bank today to do, to, to do some final, like, mortgage stuff, and I realized that... I'm pretty sure I lost my debit card, so I'm gonna have to get that cancelled and replaced. Which is fun. Lose debit card any percent. Don't make fun of me. Oh wait, I put it in this chat. Um. Oh no, no, okay. Oh, we got to the eroded badlands. Okay, sounds like you had a great weekend. Yep, had a good weekend. Freeze it? Yeah, I should. Well, I don't have it. How am I supposed to freeze it? It's not even winter. So yeah, I had a, a fun weekend on top of other things. Online banking, yeah. Okay, so we found the eroded badlands. That's another biome. Um, executive dysfunction. It's not even my fault. It's not even my fault. I mean, the losing the card probably is. I just don't know where it went. And I, I'm pretty sure I forgot it somewhere. That I, like, I went shopping like a month ago, and I'm pretty sure I just forgot it at the checkout. But like, it was a month ago, so I don't expect they still have it. And I'm not even gonna try. I might as well just get a new one. Oh, but you know what? I did play Settlers of Catan with with my family. I, I did win that. It was like my fifth time playing, and I won. It was my first time playing the Seafarers expansion. It was a real good time. Um. <clears throat> okay, the next coordinate we need to go to is um, 6400, which is this, and then negative 112. Um, so this way. Thank you for everything you do. Hey, thanks, Gorman, for the bits. Spoopy ramen, thanks for the 10 months. Why is the word strange blacklisted? It's so we don't get spoilers. Have they spent any money on your card? No, not that I know of. We ever get your pencil shopping world record? Oh, so the thing is, now that I'm moving, I'll have so much more space, and I feel like I'll be able to have more of a, a work-life balance, which means, you know, it, it's. I feel like it's gonna be an interesting, uh, an interesting thing that goes on, because despite working less, because I expect I will work a little bit less because I'll have a better work-life balance. I think the work that I do will be more productive and more focused because I'll have like a dedicated space for it now. Um, so I anticipate that uh, I'll probably be able to get the pencil sharpening record back and like sort that out and practice a little bit so I can do that once I move. Alright. Stony Shore. That is not right. Huh? Well, I mean, I think we needed that biome anyways, but I think I went to the wrong coordinate. Are any of the roommates coming with you? No. No, they got their own stuff to sort out. Wait, let me look at this. Did I? Oh my god, I'm an idiot. It's 112 in the overworld. Oh. Thirteen. I needed to go to thirteen. Not negative one hundred and ten. My bad. Who will cook you delicious food? I will. I will cook delicious food. We needed Stony Shore anyway, so that checks it off. My mom, actually, she was like, so, like, I've been looking at it, and, um, you, you, could, you should get a nanny service. I'm like, Mom, I think I'll be okay. I, I don't think I, I don't think I need a nanny for, for me. Like, it, it's, it's not, it would be nice, but I think I'll be okay. I, like, I know I'm, I'm real bad with that kind of stuff, but... I... 
the, the thing is, okay, there's wooded badlands. <laughs> yeah, it'd be, I, baby, I mean, that's what I pay uh, inept to do, right? That's what inept does. Um, I pay inept to babysit me. I basically, you know, once a week, I'm like, inept, these are the things that I want to do. Can you make sure I do them? He's like, yes. Message me, hey, have you done this? You done this? You want to do this? You want to call and get this done? And that's great. Um, uh, okay, negative 48. And you still managed to ignore it? I am better now. Pretty divine. You've been getting through so many videos recently. Your mom is right, though. So here's what's going to happen. Here's what's going to happen. I hate cleaning. And so I might get someone to come in like once a week to, to help clean because I probably won't be able to keep up with it. But I do enjoy cooking. Um, and I think I'll be able to find time. Um, zero sub Jacob takes the four months. And like the thing is, I, I, I remember when I was alone in an apartment, when I was the only person in, uh, in an apartment in the past, um... Oops, I went too far. Uh, I remember someone coming into it, into the apartment, and being like, this is... How is it so clean? I remember someone specifically said that. They they were, like, impressed at how clean and organized everything was. So, like, you know, I am I feel like I'm, I'm okay at with uh, when I'm, like, by myself. Because here's the thing. I'm the only person that's responsible for it, and I know I'm the only person responsible for it. When there's, like, multiple people... Like, in a place and, like, one person slacks a little bit, I'm like, ah, I might as well just give up. So, yeah, it's actually probably gonna be, like, a really good living space. Alright, we're in desert now. Uh, we will need to revisit this place. Um, because we do need to kill a... A thing? A husk? So I'm actually gonna make a little platform. Is it close to night? No, it's not. Okay. Uh, we will need to come back here. A cooking stream? Maybe we'll do a- Why do you guys want a cooking stream so much? I could do a cooking stream, I guess? I don't really know what- what- I mean, cooking minute rice in 58 seconds or something? Alright, we'll definitely have to come back here. Fifty-eight? <laughs> Yeah. It's damn right. I, I skipped the 59. A real cooking mama stream? I think my mom actually plans to visit during the, the week that I'm taking off. And she's like, if you have internet, can I stream? I'm like, I guess. Like, you'll, you'll probably be streaming from a cardboard box sitting on the carpet. But like, like, I guess you can stream. Um, okay, so we got those out of the way. Let's go get back go back and get the uh, the mushroom biome coordinate When is the week off uh, next week I'm taking off I won't be here next week Yo, thanks Emperor uh, Caution tape and zero sub I already thanks zero sub Jacob, but you know what thanks again Everything is void yes World record for rice cooking is 14 seconds. I bet I could do a minute rice in like two seconds and then eat it. But, yeah. What else? I have a question. I, I was watching a YouTube video and it's never been explained to me, right? So, like, black holes, right? <laughs> um. Singularities. Uh. <laughs> Sometimes they say a supermassive black hole. How can a singularity be different sizes? And on that thought, I'm getting an important call. One sec. Hello? Hmm. 
Hmm. The mass is different. Okay. Density is how fat density and how fast it pulls shit in. How can a single point have different densities? It's a single point with infinite density, isn't it? Isn't it a single point with like infinite mass or whatever? It was a wrong number, by the way. Nothing is infinite mass. Well, then how is it everything at a single point? I'm getting another phone call. She's calling again. Hello? That's all right. Man said, wrong number? Let me try the number again. Hoda's not here. But like, how can a sing how can a singularity be bigger? Right? It doesn't make any sense. I don't understand how a singularity can be bigger. It's a singularity. It's not bigger. Why do they say supermassive? Thanks for the tier two treblot. Yo, speaking of. Hello? Hi. I have no idea. That's so weird. That's all right. Don't worry about it. That's okay. You know what he said? He's like, I am so sorry. I called a different number. Apparently he's called three different numbers and they've all redirected to me. Hoda's got the proxies, man. I'm the phone singularity with infinite mass. <laughs> okay. Alright, so uh, we just need the mushroom field now. And I think um, Stony Shore we've hit. So yeah, we hit this one. That one. We'll fix that later. Uh, we just need mushroom fields now. Let's do the math here. Um... I'm trying to do math. Opinions on Dark Viper AU React Drama? Oh man, I watched that. And... I think... He's wrong. <laughs> I think he's wrong. Not in everything. But, uh... I, I think his points could be a lot more nuanced. Basically, uh, uh, I don't want to misrepresent Dark Viper or anything, but he basically says, like, React content is the most, um, exploitative, awful, lazy content you could ever produce. And he doesn't provide very good examples or evidence. Do you guys want to, do you guys want to watch it real quick? And, uh, and react. <laughs> okay. <laughs> if you're watching this Dark Viper, I... I'm not doing this just <laughs> because... <laughs> I, I want to give valid criticism, okay? I'll, I'll, I'll make it transformative. I promise. I'm gonna- we're gonna react to a video of why reactions are bad. Okay, which ones have I watched? Uh, here we go, here we go, here we go. Um... Where- where- there's... Here we go, every- it's an hour long. Oh.
Let's watch a Ludwig one, because that's the one I'm most involved with. You might not know it. He didn't even know it, but I am. All right, all right, all right, all right. Hello, Dark Viper. I'm going to make this transformative. We're going to play this in extra speed. 2021. Let me release what I consider to be the worst successful video on YouTube. All right. I made a secret YouTube channel to prove it's not luck, and it currently sits at three on November 20. So here's here's the backstory. Here's one of Dark Viper's videos. 21. Let me release what I consider to be the worst successful video on YouTube, which is titled "I made a secret YouTube channel to prove it's not luck." Um, with this video, uh, I made the title and thumbnail for this one. Um, occasionally Ludwig will come to me when he ne needs advice on the videos, uh, and I made the title and thumbnail for this. So I, I am, uh, <laughs> I actually am kind of, I know this video, I, so let, let's see. And it currently sits at 3.5 million views. Hassan Pike actually referenced this video when he responded to my dispute that I have with Charlie over react content. But we literally made a f***ing Miski video to prove that like someone reacting to his video would farm views on the video. This has inspired me to dust off the script that I made in response to Ludwig all the way back in December 2021. At the and yeah, we'll, we'll listen to what he has to say and I'll, I'll, I'll see, it, take it, slow it down a little bit. I, it's so, no. Time I shelved it because of how Ludwig responded the last time I even mildly corrected him. It just seemed better to leave it alone. Although he okay. the original script did end up in my ramble series, so if any of this sounds familiar, that might be why. While there are a staggering amount of flaws in Ludwig's video, what surprised me most is that Ludwig I agree, there are some flaws in the video. With the uh the video itself, the the title is a little bit clickbait for sure. Uh but I mean with a video like that, you kinda have to title it something like that. Can you put captions on? Sure. Ludwig didn't seem to look very hard at the analytics that he presented because they actually conflict with the conclusions that he took away from the experiments. Uh, the points are still valid though, even if they're not per perfect. Is success on YouTube mostly luck, or is it mostly skill? Yeah, this isn't completely about reacts. We'll get to that after. People always ask me, Ludwig, if you had to start your channel over, what would you do? I think they're mostly asking, so they can just do that and hopefully get successful. But I was kind of wondering if we run into a few problems here. The questions of how much luck or skill is involved in starting out on YouTube, how much luck or skill is involved when maintaining success, what Ludwig personally would do to become successful without his brand face and voice, and what a new creator could do to become successful are all separate questions with separate answers. Okay, yes. Right, I remember, I thought, I, this is the video that I, I, I watched only like three of these. But this is the video that I, I, I disagreed with the most, because there's a lot of issues with it. Um, Ludwig, however, treats all these questions as exactly the same, making his messaging very new creative. Let's see. How much skill is involved? He doesn't bring up the skill. Uh, how much luck or skill is involved when maintaining success? Uh, I think the, the point of the video that Ludwig did was to show that, like, if you know what you are doing, you can succeed is kind of the point of the video i think is is essentially the statement ludwig was trying to make i i don't think it's like if if you're skilled at the, the video i think is saying if you're skilled enough and you know what you're doing you can succeed on separate youtube questions with separate answers and i think that that's the one thing that ludwig was trying to say ludwig, however, treats all these questions he was like that's exactly the same making it as like if you're skilled enough, if you're skilled skilled enough warning, you can even do worse it. obviously the answer to any of these questions would differ wildly you know, from person to person as all a lot of people nor is every path to success i mean the based on the amount of people that are, are successful on YouTube, I think that's not a huge amount. YouTube. The process we're about to see in this video is not Ludwig putting himself in the shoes of a new content creator starting out in the current year. Instead, Ludwig is putting himself in the shoes of an already successful veteran with many years of knowledge, skill, and experience that just isn't allowed to use their face, voice, or brand. Gaining the, shall we say, mental assets that Ludwig has acquired over the years requires an insane amount of luck. And I don't, I disagree with this. He says, just isn't allowed to getting that knowledge, experience, use their face, voice, or brand. Gaining the, shall we say, mental assets that Ludwig has acquired over the years requires an insane amount of luck. I don't think that's true because I think I, I'm I'm kind of an example of of this, and I'll, I'll get into that why. And yet he will now bring them to bear in this challenge as if that were not the case. We shall see him use as many things to be obtained through luck the first time round in order to succeed the second time, seemingly without any awareness that what he's doing in this video, no new creator could actually do. I did. I think uh, I I was a new creator, and I have not really changed my strategies too much since I started. I've learned a few things of what works a little bit better and what works a little worse, but I, I definitely, I, 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 I disagree with what he's saying here. For the obtained through luck the first time round, in order to succeed the second time, seemingly without any awareness that what he's doing in this video, no new creator could actually do. Yeah, no new creator could actually do. That is, I think, I think that's false. I, I don't think I agree with that. So, I made a brand new channel, and today I'm going to find out if YouTube is mostly based on luck or mostly based on skill. You probably don't need to have gone to university to know that the sample size of one can't prove anything. I agree. And completely destroys your ability to generalize your results. I mean, there isn't even a control group, which would be fine if this was just a joke video on YouTube. But Ludwig and others constantly reference this video as if it proves something. The possibility for confounding variables obviously exists, which are like extra factors that you didn't. I mean, I think it does do do something. You know, the the video itself. Um, I I've, I've seen the analytics for it. Uh, the amount of views that it gets are definitely bolstered by his original, um, 
uh, definitely bolstered by his like video that he made on it, but the vi video itself gets would have uh, or was getting recommended before he'd ever mentioned it. Didn't account for or didn't even know about. When you have a why is it fast though? Because I can't focus on it otherwise. Randomized sample and a control group, you can be more confident that these variables are. Anyway, these failings raise many issues towards the end of Ludwig's video. So Mr. Beast is called to give his opinion on the and then the premise of the YouTube videos from YouTube. You think is if you know what you're doing. Yeah, if Mr. Beast says you can, you can succeed if you know what you're doing. Yeah. You even begin, yeah, you have a good shot at succeeding at that thing. Peep and pass on to the new blood that has a much easier time succeeding than anyone else. To put it another way, he's five years, where at some point he even considered quitting. You know, he. I guess he's talking about. In, yeah, Mr. To be honest, I was pretty sure I was. Mr. Mr. Beast tried for five years, no and it took five years to get where he, to YouTube, knows where he knows. One thousand views in twenty-four hours. There are literally millions of unsuccessful YouTube channels that have at least one video on them that got many thousands of views. Because getting lucky and creating one good video is doable, but doing it over and over and over again for a career is the hard part. Again, this is something I disagree with. Uh, you know, he says a sample size of one is not good. Uh, I have a YouTube channel that does not use my face or name. And it has 400,000 subscribers. Uh, it's mostly, we mostly employ smaller creators. And every video does really, really well. What is it? Exactly. And a lot of people don't even know about it. And especially at the start, nobody knew about it. I own lowest percent. With Linkus. Linkus and I co-own lowest percent. Um... It's because you advertise it, though. I advertise at the start to get the first 1,000 subscribers. The first 1,000 subscribers. And now that is arguably, like, you know, difficult. But in the whole terms of numbers, and I did use my voice in one of the videos. Yes, I did. But ultimately, you know, people didn't find the video because, oh, it's Small Ant's voice. And technically, this is advertising it. Yeah. There are people out there who think just one big hit, that's all we need, that's the path to stardom and being set for life. That's untrue. They were wrong 30 years ago and they're wrong now. Kills that he needs. Well, how there is then the question of why Ludwig set this goal so low. Here's what Why'd he set this goal so low? He had a really strict timeline. He had to get this video out fast. That's it. I did. I wrote out a script and I did it on Mizgiv. Is one because... So, relying upon years of experience in an industry to devise and execute a strategy. Script writing ability, deep familiarity with content creators and understanding what is popular on YouTube, knowledge of niche websites and ability to identify... Again, this stuff... An ability to identify quality in voiceover work and editing, knowledge of niche websites and understanding of what's popular, deep familiarity with content creator script writing ability. I'm going to get into this, but a lot of this, I think, is... Uh, like, I have a, a very clear example of why I don't agree with a lot of what he's saying here. Um, there's certainly some valid points how, like, this one video is, is probably not a good example of, like, luck versus skill. Because it is in such a it's short like term. And... There's a lot. Of, how do we get from Skyblock to this? People wanted me to react to it. Voiceover work and editing are all things that no new content creator has. All Again, no new content creator says, I don't think that's true. All Ludwig is showing is that if you were lucky enough to survive an industry for a long time, honing your craft every single day for thousands of days, if you had to start again keeping all that experience, you'd have an easier time of it. Which I guess is probably true for every industry in existence, so I guess by this logic, luck simply doesn't exist. Alright, here's the script I wrote out. It's called How a Door Made This Man One Million Dollars. But I don't want to have myself read it because people know what my voice sounds like, so that's not really gonna fly. So instead, what I did- Things yeah, are okay. for free? You know, he gets- he hires someone, he I hires people to edit the videos, Go. and I think this is criticism. Oh, Dark oh, Vipers oh, ends up saying that, like, like, you know, a new creator can't edit well. well. A new creator to can't to prevent you from burning out. make a so good video. Is essentially YouTuber, what he's known saying. Known as the Zany Psychic. What's up, heroes? The Zany Psychic. I posted. Psychic. Yeah, don't worry. Definitely, and Ludwig would not be the successful creator he is today. Yeah. So basically, he's saying that like the reason why, because uh, it can strike at any time. You know, already, you can do things is because you have so much experience. The best way possible. I hired an editor because you know I'm. New yeah, and that's the only reason why. It's doing so well because they have no idea what they're doing. No. Here's what the final video. The pandemic will be remembered as a time of economic despair. Good. I'm really. You know, he plays the video. This video is good. Again, later in this video, spends little time on why these, how they should present them, and why more. Like it's called online live door. But ultimately, here, here's, here's the thing. I'm gonna open up my YouTube channel here, right? Um. We're taking a break to react really quick. Why are we? Why do you see Dark Viper? We're we're reacting to. Uh, Dark Viper's video on why reactions are bad. Um, <laughs> but here, I'm gonna open up my YouTube channel. We're, we're gonna scroll down. Um, here's, here's what happened. My first ever video is Super Mario Odyssey Speedrunning Movement Guide. Um, most successful people think they got to where they are because of skill rather than luck because of confirmation bias. I agree. I think most people that are really successful, I think, got there because they had the skills necessary at the right time. Uh, this is my first video I ever made. The first video I'd ever edited. A double jump is slightly higher than a... And... For the triple jump. 
I think it's edited pretty well. It's just explaining all of the tricks in Super Mario Odyssey. And, you know, I have a whole series on uh, the speedrunning movements. And, you know, when I was doing this, I wasn't trying to become, like, a big content creator. I was just trying to help out. But, uh, you know, this is my first scripted video. And this is my first time ever editing basically anything. It was, was this video here. And, you know, what I did was I watched the video... I, it was bad. I edited it again. It was bad. I watched it all the way through. I couldn't stay focused on certain parts. I read it. I read it. I read it. It took like three days. I, what did I edit videos at first? I still use it. It's the same program. I used Sony, or I guess it's not owned by Sony now, Vegas 14. I still use that. That's what I still use. Like, what I did was I, uh... I, I re-edited the video, like, a bunch of times. Oh my god. Hello? Hello. This is an automated call from Bell. What I did earlier today was I was trying to set up my internet connection and uh, for my new house. And I checked online to check the top internet service providers in Calgary. And Bell was number three. So I called Bell. And I was like, yo, I'm looking for internet. And they're like, where is it? Alberta. It's like, we don't offer internet in Alberta. I'm like, well, then why are you advertising? Why are you advertising that? Anyways. I just hung up. Um... They were just asking how my experience was. Anyways, um, you know, when I started, I just re-edited the video until it was good. Because, like, you can, when you're watching something, when you're watching a movie, you can tell if it's good or bad. When you're watching, uh, you know, something a friend made, you can tell it's good or bad. You can do the same thing with your own videos. You watch it, you be critical with yourself, you can tell if it's good or bad. So I think I did a good job. This video, initially... Um, I'm fairly sure it got a couple thousand views, and then it's got grown a lot because my YouTube channel has grown. But the initial analytics of this video, you know, it was sitting around, like, it was doing pretty well for a first video, no v uploads before that. Uh, I did unlist a bunch of videos, because the concepts themselves were fun, but ultimately they weren't, yeah, ultimately they were too much work, and it just wasn't worth it. Uh, I think the content was decent, but yeah. I unlisted videos because I didn't want people to think that's what I was going to upload in the future. That was the biggest reason why I unlisted. Because I, I have actually unlisted... Um, uh, Sub-area showdowns and uh, a community event that I didn't end up uh, finishing on this channel. But yeah, uh, but once I started doing these videos, where it's just uh, stream highlights, what I did was... Um, you know, I was streaming. I downloaded, uh, I think it was four or five creators that also were doing stream highlights. I downloaded four or five creators that were doing stream highlights. And I just watched them frame by frame to figure out, like, exactly when they cut videos. Um, like, I, I literally counted the amount of frames after they stopped talking to when they cut. Before they started talking to when they cut. You know, I... I analyzed the shit out of those videos for like a week. And then I started editing this with no experience. And it did, it was, I, I think this video got like freaking 30,000 views. And like before this, I was just doing stupid like tutorial videos. Right? And then like, um, he says like script writing. It's a, it's a, it's a skill you have to acquire over many years. You want to? You guys want to see the first video that I ever wrote a script for that wasn't a tutorial? You guys want to see the first one that I wrote a script for? Let's let's find it. Um, let's let's look. How to beat Super Mario Odyssey in one hour? It has five point four million views. You know what I did for that script? I wrote out like ten as much to make a good story as I could. It was awful. I opened up a new document and I restarted. I did that for about a week. I wrote out probably like eight or nine versions of the same script until when I read it out and listened to it, 
It sounded good. It flowed nicely. I just redid it a bunch of times. And that's what I do for every script. Um, I've gotten a lot better at it, but like I had no experience with script writing with editing videos that weren't stream highlights. 5.4 million. Same with this one. You know, this was my second ever scripted video. 10 million views. You know, and that's a Pokemon video. That's a completely different game. Um, what's the next one? It's Pencil Sharpener. 12 million views. Scripted. But you were already big. Yes, but he says you to be able to get a good script and, you know, have a video be good. It has to, uh, you know, you have to grind to get that experience. I didn't grind to get that experience. I spent a week redoing my work and then it was good. You know, it got 5.4 million views. If it was bad content, it would have gotten 316,000 views, just like Goose Game. That's bad content. It's a cute video, but it's bad content. I knew it was bad content the moment I uploaded it. Um, and you know, it's not natural talent. No, it's not that at all. And the thing with, like, learning how to make titles and thumbnails. You know, my, my first titles and thumbnails, I think they've improved a little bit. You know, I, I think my titles and thumbnails are pretty decent these days, but if you scroll back, they're really not that much different. You know, these ones might have a few extra words. But ultimately, they're not that much different than what I do now. And I mean, what, what he's saying is new creators can't don't have the skill and ability of, of people that have been doing it for years. Yeah, but it's not that big of an edge. Because, like, what I did was when I was working in a sawmill, um, what I would do is I would scroll through YouTube, and every single video, what I would do is I'd stop on it, whether I was interested in the video or not. What I would do is I would look at it, and I was like, why the hell are people clicking on this? Why would I click on this? What made it? What made me do it? And I would just sit in there at work, and I would just, I would just do that for like hours. Is this just chatting? I guess it technically is. You know, and I, I, I did that for like weeks, a few weeks at work. And you know, when I went to upload my first few videos, I think I, I had an okay idea of why, why I clicked on videos. And you know, over time, obviously you get better at things, but like you can be good enough to compete from nothing. You know, I, I think I was a, a, a pretty good example. Where did you work then? I worked at a sawmill, I, but you know, you could do this, you know, when you get home from work. The Avonster, thanks for the 13. Um, like, uh, <clears throat> the new creators aren't some, in, aren't incompetent idiots, you know? I am the same as I was a few years ago, and I haven't gotten any smarter. I'd probably say I've gotten dumber. I, I've I've gotten worse, you know. I've I've out of school. I talk to Twitch chat all day. Um, <laughs> definitely more experienced, but uh, you know, if if new creators can't succeed, then how do new creators ever appear? You know, is it just all luck? Is it all luck that they just show up? Are you calling us dumb? No. I'm talking, you know, everyone put together makes me dumber. You guys put together, you're, you're, you're qualified geniuses. Remember that time you guys took an IQ test and got 160 plus? You guys are geniuses. <clears throat> yeah, but like... The, the points that he's making, right? He's saying, this is not accurate because a new creator cannot make as good of thumbnails and titles as consistently as someone who knows what they're doing. You know, I feel like what I did was kind of what Dark Viper is saying is impossible, you know? Other creators were making this exact Super Mario Odyssey content. I was literally just copying Fearsome Fire. Right? Eventually I started trying out my own ideas. But, um, but yeah, what Dark Viper is, is, is saying is he's, he's kind of talking in absolutes. I did the impossible, humble brag. I didn't do the impossible. Other people doing it all around me. CJ's killing it. Lickle's doing super well on YouTube. You know? Like, there's a, a bunch of people all around that 
that uh, you know are small creators that are growing. The fur is is doing really well right now too. Who else? Like uh, I, I think he's kind of talking in, in absolutes where I, I think there's a lot more nuance to it. Like I, I think CJ and Lickle have an advantage of knowing a lot of bigger creators, which you know they have an edge. Um, but. I don't know. It's just it, the 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 way that he implies that new creators can't succeed because they just don't have the skills necessary to. And you know, they just have to grind at it for years to learn how and then they'll do well. You know, I wasn't grinding for years. I streamed for years. I didn't want to get big for years. You know, once I once I um uh, you know, I, I was doing it just for fun, but once I kind of saw, you know, maybe I should try for a little bit, it started, it started to work out. But like, the, the, the reason that he's saying these, I don't know, it's just, what are the points that he's making? Like, let's, let's see, let's go to the, his little list that he had made. Where, where's his list? Let's get, let's grab his list. Here. Writing ability deep in the Script writing ability. My first video, my script was awful the first time I wrote it. I knew it was awful. I didn't upload it. I knew it was awful because I, I listened to it. I read it out to other people. They listened to it. They told me it was good or bad. Yeah, I see what's and, um, you know, I, I redid it. I redid it. I redid it over and over and over content again. Content creators and understanding. Uh, deep familiarity with content creators. Like, I guess that's somewhat relevant. You don't see the thousands of creators who started and don't succeed. That's confirmation bias. Yeah, I mean, I'm. I only know my example, right? <clears throat> I I think it's it's fair. Some people can try as hard as they want and not succeed. You know that happens. And I think you know a lot of people do that and don't succeed. But I don't know. It it feels. It feels weird to say that, you know, those people, you know, the reason why they couldn't succeed is because they just weren't lucky. What's popular on YouTube? You know, an understanding of what's popular. I, I didn't, the, I wasn't a veteran. I didn't under, I, I kind of figured out what was popular just by like, Analyzing it. I thought about it for like a couple months while I was at work and once I started uploading it, it did well. A hundred percent, yeah. Like, you know, the, the thing that to consider is, you know, a lot of my big growth on my channel started um, because when I started getting into a lot of these things, almost every single other creator at the time burned out. Like, once I was like kind of in Super Mario Odyssey land, a lot of content creators playing Super Mario Odyssey, they burned out. Um, when I was playing Pokemon, you know, a lot of the, the Pokemon content creators that were pretty big, they had kind of just like got a baseline. I'm going to do a randomized Nuzlocke, upload one unedited video every single day for six months. And like that, that was like the Pokemon community from what I, from what I saw. And, you know, I, I was lucky that, that, the no one had tried editing challenge runs yet but the thing is you know the reason why i was lucky is because i had spent you know a couple hundred hours just scrolling through youtube looking at thumbnails and titles and figuring out what is cool and what isn't and why stuff does well bro can you play skyblock it's getting kind of boring i can i mean you can leave if you're bored Ultimately, I, I don't like his points because it implies that, like, it, it's just, it feels like he's saying that new creators, you have to be lucky to be able to, to succeed. It's just clickbait. No, Dark Viper isn't making these just so re people, uh, Dark Viper isn't, Dark Viper's nice. You know, he, I, I've, I've spoken to him. I think he... I, I think he has very strong opinions. He's very vocal about them. Uh, I don't think he does this so people will react and get angry to him. No one likes that stress. I think this is what he very much believes in. But I, I, I've seen him change his mind before and change his opinion. 
which uh, I think is a good quality. I, I respect Dark Viper a lot, actually. Um... But the ability to identify quality in voiceover work and editing. Oh, like I, I don't think, I think maybe I think like I already had an ability to recognize what's good or bad. But like you can just, you know, you have friends that can, you know, hey, read this. Is it good or bad? If I read this out, is it good or bad? Like it is an understanding of what is popular on YouTube. Knowledge of me. I think a lot of these things you don't have to be a veteran to know them. I, I don't think you have to be a veteran to know them. I think luck. Definitely, you know, being in the right place at the right time helps a lot. Um, but, you know, t I think to be able to recognize that luck, you have to be really involved to begin with. And I guess, you know, it could take years to find that opportunity. But, do you have any marketing knowledge? No, not at all. I don't understand what your opinion is. Are you saying that there isn't any luck involved? I think he's not saying there's no skill, it's just an element of luck. Um, I don't, he's, what he's saying, I, there is luck involved, 100%, without a doubt. If, if there wasn't luck involved, then everybody that worked insanely hard would, would succeed, and that's not the case. But, um, I think in my case, the reason why I kind of, um, I think the reason why I succeeded was I was in the right place at the right time, right? There, it, it's not like a, he, he's saying that you have to get lucky to, to succeed and that like new creators can't have, well, I guess he's kind of saying two points. He's saying you need more than, you need more than skills to succeed, but also veteran content creators have a massive edge because they already know what they're doing. And so, because Ludwig already knew what he was doing, it was unfair. You know, Ludwig forced the luck part by just getting people to react to it. And I think the first, the, the, the one part about, like, con veteran content creators having an edge because they have more experience, I don't think that's a very strong point at all. Because you can, you can, I think, produce the quality that big content creators can by just, you know, being critical of yourself, looking at something and saying, is this trash? Is it not trash? You know, I was, I was in the right place at the right time, kind of, because I was able to, to, to see, you know, this seems fun and, and, uh, you know, it's doing well. Like, I think... The reason why I, I think I did relatively well is because I already spent a lot of time thinking about these things. Um, uh, you know, whenever I did something new, what I would do is I'd do it and I'd redo it and I'd redo it and I'd redo it. Um, until uh, until I, I was satisfied. I had a very high um, threshold for like, you know, is this good or not? I don't, this is why I don't like the dude. He's got something against several creators. I don't think Dark Viper... He, It's weird. I don't think Dark Viper has anything really against these people. He's just... He's very, like, blunt. And... He doesn't express his opinions poorly, but he has very strong opinions. Or he expresses opinions in a really strong way. And it comes across as, like, very grating. But, uh, I don't know. I, I don't think it's, I don't know, a, a lack of tact, I guess. I don't know. The, essentially, what, what I can see this, this video boils down to is, is Dark Viper is, is saying the two points, right? He's saying, um... You need a little, you need luck to succeed, but also, you know, bigger creators are obviously going to succeed if they start a new YouTube channel because they just have way more skill. And I think that that, that is the, the weak point here is that the skill doesn't really provide that much of an edge. You know, if, if you look at things critically for long enough, 
before you actually do the content, you can produce content at a level that is as good as other content creators that are already established. Um, yeah. I think that's the point I'm trying to make. <clears throat> if YouTube was mostly skill, not luck, it doesn't make sense. Why do so many YouTubers die off and lose popularity? I'm going to be honest, Joe. Um, I think a lot of the big YouTubers that die off, like the really big ones that are like, you know, 1 million plus. I think I'll just say it straight up. I think almost every YouTube creator that has over a million subscribers can just retire. You know, once you get to a certain point, do you really need to compete with other people? You know, you do what's fun. Like, if, if you see a YouTuber that has over a million subs, if they manage their money correctly, they can retire. If they have over a million subscribers. You know, you don't need to keep grinding. Really? Where's the fun in that? Exactly. Like, you you can... Some of them just don't... Um, some of them don't, uh, don't need to keep adapting to what's new. Because what they have works, you know, they can let it burn out, and they're set. You know, you don't need to adapt if you're set, right? What's the motivation? <clears throat> Aren't views more important? Yeah, and ultimately, uh, views are are important. So I'm not saying like every creator that has, you know, if if there's a, a controversial YouTuber or a YouTuber that makes videos in in a topic that isn't very easy to monetize, I think is uh, I think that's definitely um, you know, not, obviously, I'm not saying if a creator is a million subscribers they can quit. No, that's not it at all. But financially, they're doing very well. And, you know, the, the YouTubers that it, that still do it once they have, you know, you know, a freaking billion views, they're not doing it because they want, you know, oh, man, I got to get that paycheck. No. You know, certainly it, it makes their life more enjoyable, but they don't really need it. They're doing it because they still like it. Music again? Yeah. I just don't want to get rid of the rain. Do you think PewDiePie needs more money? Nah. I mean, I think... Here's the thing. You know, if PewDiePie still takes sponsors, you know, if you're going to get half a million dollars for 30 seconds of your time, would you say no? Right? You know, why not? Why not take a sponsor? You think someone getting into streaming and YouTube for money and be successful? Oh, yeah. Yeah, 100% someone could get into it for money and be successful. If you don't enjoy it, it'd be insane on the mental. But, yeah, like... Did you lose power with the big storm? No, I just want to get rid of... Okay, whatever. Where do we need to go? What's the next coordinate? Do you take sponsors? For me, honestly, that's something that I've been... I've really slacked on. I, I've never really taken any sponsors. I signed with Panda Global because they seemed really nice, and they were really nice. Um, they were. I'm, I was at a really good time with Panda. But uh, I've never taken any sponsors because I, I don't want to sell you guys something that I don't really, like, 100% believe in or I'm into. So, like, if I do take a sponsor, when I do take a sponsor... You guys will know. It's like, okay, no, he actually cares about this thing that he is sponsoring. Because eventually I will probably take sponsors. But when I do take sponsors, it'll be something that I actually care about. Because, like, I don't need the money otherwise. Like, I I'm good. What did you do at Panda? I'm going to be honest. I felt a little bit guilty at Panda because they, they didn't really utilize me a lot. Like, I think at the start, I was in a bunch of their videos, but uh, they ended up getting focused on the, the fighting game stuff, because, like, they got the Nintendo-sponsored Smash tournament. And once that got announced, they were basically like, 
we're gonna focus on this for a little bit, you know. Maybe we'll get some speedrunning stuff if we can sign some more people, figure it out, but... Um... Are you retiring? Oh, no. No, I don't, I don't, you know, I'd be so bored. Uh, what's this divided by 8, by the way? 420-ish, I don't know. How accurate is Social Blade in terms of income? Um... I'll check my channel. I'll tell you. I think Social Blade is like an insane range, doesn't it? Yeah, my estimated monthly earnings are 3.6k to $57,000. Um... Yeah, that's not accurate. That number is wrong. They tried their best. Okay. I'm just gonna... You know what? I can't brain right now. 2208 divided by 8. 276. Two three three six divided by eight. <laughs> two ninety two. Okay, that's where we're going. Brain not working. The range is correct, but it's just so big. Nah, the range is not correct. No. Um. Okay. What is our coordinates? We need to get to. 276 to... Okay, it's over here again. Is Skybot going to be a YouTube video? Yes. Ant Secret Millionaire confirmed. I don't think it's a secret. I think I'm doing pretty well. Vitaris. You know, when, like... You know, I have 500 million views on YouTube. You know, it, uh, advertisers pay a lot for that. But yeah, Social Blade is, is basically just... In terms of revenue, I don't think that's just something you can ever really rely on. The funny thing is, Social Blade for my main channel is too low. For my Clips channel, um, it might be too high. It says, uh, the Clips channel is doing 2.8k. Minimum. Okay, 276. 5.6. Oh, Toggle Crouch was still on! <laughs> We just lost a bunch of fucking rocks. It's fine. <sighs> Damn it. It's just a bunch of rocks. Don't worry about it. No, not the rocks. Ah. <laughs> bang, bang. Just give me a second to get all my stuff back. I joined the space program, and honestly, it's not as fun as it initially thought. I thought creators made next to no money on shorts. Yeah, you're right. Uh, I don't have any shorts, though. Every every video on my Clips channel is a just a short YouTube video, which actually makes money. Uh, hello? All right. Did you get your mushrooms? Nah, we'll deal with that later. 
Has anyone noticed he cursed more than usual lately? I usually try to curse less in videos. I know we're gonna be on YouTube because YouTube, uh, you make less when you curse and it's just like a really easy thing. This I know is going to be edited down a lot and so I can, you know, just speak more, more freely and swear a little bit more if I feel the need to. Because, uh, ultimately it is going to not be included in the video, the, uh, the swearing part at least. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So touch. Efficiency, one, two. So many books. So little time. Alright, smite. Sweeping edge. I'm just going to put these on temporarily, just to have more inventory space. Protection, one. Bang. So many books. I got a whole ass library. Yeah, a whole ass library. Bang. One, two, three, four. All right. Feather falling. One of these is respiration. Can't remember which one. Sharpness for the sword or for the axe. Uh, flame for the bow. Aqua affinity for my hat. Respiration. I think I need two of these. And then power for the bow. <clears throat> and I think that's everything I need, right? Oh. Alright, we got bot rated. Give me a sec, chat. There we go. Alright, subs can talk, but uh, non-subs, just give them a minute. They'll uh, sort this out in a second. Everyone that's not subbed, just give them a second. I think the muds will sort it out. They're just going to ban all the bots. What were we talking about? I forgot. <clears throat> yeah, we're banning all the subs. Don't see the appeal of bots spamming? Yeah, whatever. Zip, thanks for the prime. Jail? ADHD moment? Yeah, I can't remember. Wealth, but yeah, what what was the conversation specifically because I can't remember <laughs> Can I toss anything all right, we're gonna put some golden carrots in here for a second All right Rip the plebs hey, you'll be fine in a sec All right. Okay, yeah controls toggle hold there we go so easy to forget. Never seen a bot raid before. They really actually haven't happened all that much recently. It, Twitch has been a lot better as of late. All right, let's go uh, start making all these. So looting, smite. Yep. We want to go sweeping edge and unbreaking. Where's our sweeping edge book? Sweeping edge. Uh, bum bum. <clears throat> okay, what's your favorite pizza topping? I don't know. I don't know. All right, we got our enchanted book, looting, smite, and breaking. Okay, uh, we need mending on it as well. So let's go mending. Uh huh. And we'll just wait till level twenty-four really quick. <sighs> All right, welcome back, everybody. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Are you gonna upload to this VOD channel? Oh yeah, it'll come out eventually on the VOD channel. It'll take some time though. VOD's channel is a little behind. Blast, things in the six months. Why smite not sharpness? Uh, I put sharpness on the axe. How long did it take you to edit a video when you started? A few days. I can get it done. I can get videos done in like a day now. Alright, we'll go mending, unbreaking. That one broke. Okay. 
Uh, we have... I don't know where that went. Let's combine respiration. Respiration, respiration. Let's do uh, aqua affinity now. Bang. Let's get unbreaking and mending. I have one somewhere around here. I don't know where it went. Unbreaking, mending. Is that everything that you want in a hat? Respiration, aqua affinity, unbreaking, mending? Is that everything? Do I ever lose a race? Oh yeah, all the time. Just not Pokemon map randomizers. Oh, and protection. Thank you. Okay, take the hat off. Alright, that's going to cost a lot. Just give it a sec. Depth Strider, that's on boots. Which advancement is left? Uh, we need to get all the biomes, so we're just building and talking. Stories while we wait. Oh, let me check to see if I've gotten the email today. Because I, I do have... Um, uh, okay, actually, wait a minute. Uh, new documents. Okay, good. Good. I My house insurance stuff. Because I, I need to apparently send... The, the bank won't give you a mortgage unless you have a house insurance. So I was sorting that out and I haven't got the freaking proof that I have it yet. I'm just waiting for that. I'm waiting for a call for internet today as well. So that's why I've been answering my phone more than usual. Uh. All right. Cappy's done. Let's take all these off. Uh, I actually don't need to switch accounts, Ryan. Uh, I need to switch lawyers, not accountants. Efficiency on breaking, uh, mending and silk touch. I think that's all I needed for that. How good are your drawing skills? I saw you display them in Super Mario Odyssey multiplayer in the hint art, but I feel like those weren't the full extent of your artistic powers. You want to see something that I worked on yesterday? Home insurance is mandatory in Canada. Well, it's not. I don't think. I don't know if it's mandatory, but to be able to get a mortgage, the bank is like, you better be able to pay us. Okay, okay. Here's. I'll show you guys what I worked on yesterday. Oh no, it's not that. That's not what it is. Um. Ignore that. <laughs> yeah, I'm an artist. No, I made... Uh... Okay, so so here's the original Mario Odyssey logo, right? Here's the original Mario Odyssey logo. And yesterday, I did this. Anyways... It looks good, yeah. We're making it official as a heck. Okay, mending sub touch. The yoink and twist. That's something I'm really, really good at. That's something that I, I pride myself in doing. I I am able to copy art styles like nobody's business. If you give me an artist, I can perfectly replicate that. I have no style myself, but if you give me some, if you give me a, an art style, I can. Po copy it perfectly. Um, I think that's it, right? You just go boom, boom. What did we call the pickaxe again? Oh, right. Speaking of, uh, Akons, thanks for the two months, and Dance Enigma, thank you for the prime. Is your Discord server sub-exclusive? Nope. No, it's not. Okay, we're gonna go unbreaking protection. I think unbreaking and protection and mending is all that it needs. So let's grab mending. And the chest plate. Uh, chest plate is, I think we called it Smant Merch. I'm trying to remember. Is that why it's named Prime? Yeah. <sighs> all right, get into the lucrative world of art forgery. No, 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 no. Oh, hey. One sec. Hello?
It was one of the home insurance places that called me back. They're like, hey, we can't insure you because you're a streamer. I was like, what? How is... Huh? Yeah. None of the pla none of the things. We couldn't do it. It's okay. I already have it sorted out. It was another place that I had called. <clears throat> it was, it was, I, I've, I've gotten another place sorted out. But yeah, she basically was just like, hey, we can't insure you because you're a streamer, essentially, is, is the conversation. And I was like, it's fine. I called other places. Don't worry about it. She's like, are you, like, are you sure you got it? I like, no, I'm fine. <laughs> uh, mending we need as well. Yeah. The pants. Careerism. Disgusting. No, it's it's all fine. I'm just I'll, I'll get a few of those calls today. I did get a few levels in the meantime as well. Yeah. Wait, I didn't make. Wait. We didn't name them. Please don't be. Please be cheap. Please be cheap. Spants. Spant. What do we call these again? Was they spant? Spants? I can't remember. Spanties? I'm call I'm gonna call them the spants. Uh we'll get rid of the protection one, because I think that might just make it more expensive. I'm not exactly sure. Anyways, let's go uh Efficiency. Let's make our axe. Yeah, here we go. It's Mormon time. I love how much of a meme. Morbius is is become it's just it's really cute. I don't know Anyone else thinks it's just it's just cute. It's just adorable bonk efficiency unbreaking mending sharpness. Yes they're the phase four crocs. Is it even a good movie? No, it's 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 a great movie. It's an experience. You shouldn't watch it though. Every movie afterwards, you're gonna be disappointed. Obviously, this isn't exactly the bow that we want, but it's good enough. Let's leave. I especially like when he says it's Morbin time, and when Venom shows up, and and then he's and out of the out of the rift, and then all and then the the one Spider-Man bad guy shows up, and then it's like Doctor, it's like Multiverse of Madness, but Morbius, man. And yeah, when he said it's Morbin time, oh, the whole everyone clapped. I like the scene where it's Matt Smith starts doing the worm, too. The vampire worm, though. It's not cringy because he's a vampire. They fixed the only bad thing about modern-day vampires. These ones don't sparkle. It's a perfect movie. That's really my only complaint I had with Twilight, honestly. They really show their sparkle on the inside. DJ Jamaica, zero T, thank you. Don't do this to me. You got me with a fake Pokemon scene in Morbius. I don't think I've ever talked about a fake Pokemon scene. I talked about a real Pokemon scene where he beats the shit out of a Pikachu. Because again, Multiverse of Madness connection. Wait. Oh, right, that's the, that's the witch farm sword. I should probably have grabbed some ender pearls. Ah, whatever. Oh, what a more perverse of madness, yeah. They better not make a second one. Everyone's just gonna be disappointed. Uh-huh. Wait, what? Why am I hearing those? 
A wandering trader appeared in my side world. What the heck? I was like, why the hell am I hearing that? It's greenlit? Oh, no. No. Don't disappoint. You can't match the first one. There's no shot you're ever going to match the... It's not worth it. You're just going to disappoint everyone. You know what the craziest part is? When they got the guy from the Matrix with the round glasses and the trench- Oh, that's everybody. Um... When they got the- the pill guy from the Matrix in there too? That was crazy. Alright, let's not die this time. Oh wait, I need obsidian and a flint steel. Morpheus, yeah! <laughs> that's the guy. Forgot his name there. I'm gonna lose those. I'm not gonna lose any slabs. I'll be fine. Everything's fine. Crouch toggle. Thank you for the reminder. I needed a reminder for the crouch toggle. Where's my stone chest? It's morphing time. And then the Power Rangers came out. Did you watch the new Matrix? No, I heard it was bad. New Matrix was mid, yeah, the, just like a, it's like a, uh, what's it called? Nostalgia grab. Any advancements are left? Four. We're getting all the biomes right now, but I died because I forgot, uh, I forgot to toggle Crouch was on, so when I started holding it, it started doing this, and I just walked off. Okay, uh... <laughs> damn it, 276! That's where we need to go to. Did you watch any of the Morbius Twitch streams? I unfortunately missed out on them. Yeah, I heard the, the new Top Gun is actually genuinely good, like it might be better than the original. Are you finishing today? That is the goal. We'll see how much energy I have. Um, this- I got an awful sleep. Um... Uh, I went to bed at, like, a reasonable time, but I got woken up at, like, 7.15 to, like, a- Like, angry knocking. And I was, like, kind of half awake. And it was just- just constant angry knocking on our door, and I was like, what the hell is going on? Why- Why is someone knocking? And, uh, it turns out that there's, uh, construction going on near our building, and, uh, everyone in the building needs to move their vehicles to somewhere completely different. And so I had to park, like, freaking a mile down the road to the closest parking spot because of every vehicle in the parking lot is covering the road all the way down. So, uh, yeah, I ended up getting up, like, at, like, 7.30, looking out, and I was like, why is the parking lot- Oh, damn it. And then I, like, just threw- I just threw some, like, pants on, a shirt on, and just, like, walked to my car half asleep, moved it, and then, uh, went- laid in bed for, like, a few minutes, and I was like, nope. I guess I gotta deal with that bank stuff. What do you drive? Um, I just went to the, the dealership and I said, give me the fast one. And so whatever that was. Ah, so you have a Model T? I said I went to the dealership. Tesla dealerships don't exist. 
No, it was like the... I went... I just went to the Bugatti store. How are you wearing a hoodie? It's so hot. What is the temperature right now? I wonder. They do? Well, not here. Not here in the great white north, because electric vehicles just die because it's so cold. The batteries are just like, I just don't want to work right now. Isaac, thank you so much for the five subs. How far out are we going again? Let me check. 292. Okay. You look like a to Toyota Corolla kind of guy. How do you know? How did you know? Estonian. What year? What what year Toyota Corolla do I look like? No, no, no. This is this is only this is only them. Say around 2018. Ah, no. Don't you have a 1996? It's in the 2000s, okay? It's like a 2002 or something. It's like a 2002. You said that? Well, you said that, but the person said Corolla didn't. Why'd you pass another bridge? I've been here and there. My car is older than a lot of this chat, yeah. You upgraded to a Camry, let's go. You used to have a Corolla. Yeah, I was trying not to dox myself and give too much information, Mom. The year is also wrong. I change small details like that in stories so people can't figure out, you know, exactly where I live or what I have. <sighs> well... <laughs> Well, the cat's out of the bag. It's actually a 2001 Toyota uh, Toyota Camry. Cat's out of the bag. Deep ocean. Okay. Wait, what? This should be a... Where the frick is my mushroom? Two, seven, six times eight. Two, nine, two times eight. There's a mushroom island somewhere around here. <laughs> I don't know where. I'm just gonna go in like a spiral until I hit it. I, I really hope it wasn't just like a one block sized mushroom biome. Use use chunk borders, They're, they don't follow chunk borders. Biomes don't follow chunk- Oh, mushroom fields! Let's go! We're never coming back here again. All right, good. I needed mushroom shores. Did I? Let me check the exact biome we looked for. Mushroom, no, it was mushroom fields. Yeah, I needed mushroom fields. We got what we needed. Bro, I'm on PS4 and I can speed bridge way better than you. Isn't PS4 a bedrock? Can't you just, like, hold a button and walk forwards and it speed bridges for you? It's its own thing? Ah. Yeah, it's a little slower? Okay. So, I mean, they're not lying, that's true, yeah. Is Mushroom Fields the only mushroom biome? It's the only one you need to get for the advancement now. What's your favorite Gen 9 Pokemon? I don't know any of them. 
don't actually... Yeah, I don't really know. How many biomes you need to find? Well, we're gonna get home and see. I'm not sure which ones we need left. I know three of them. Wait, is that it? Sprigatito, Weed Cat, Pepper, Dog, and the other one that no one likes. Alright, alright. Bang! Go to bed. Pepper Crocodile? Right, Pepper Crocodile, I forgot. Um, I like the pepper one. <laughs> I sleep on the duck. Uh, wait, here's our- here's our wall. Okay, so we're done with that. Uh, and we actually also got Stony Shore. Remember these. Jagged Peak, Stony Peak, Slaughter Forest. Alright, these are the biomes we have left. Let's do these four. Old Pine, Old Spruce, Snowy Tiger. Actually, let's do all the snow ones. I bet all the snow ones will be close together. Alright, so we have ice spikes at the ice spikes negative two three three six two nine one two Jip Gamer, thanks for the two. Da -da. I'm gonna check to see if there's any other biomes near the ice spikes so I can just like Freaking zoom around a little bit. Not have to go places. Snowy Plains is just negative X from there. Snowy Plains, negative X. Because I think we need that. Yeah, let's get the Snowy Beach and Snowy River now. Uh, snowy River and Snowy Beach. Wait, we have windswept gravelly hills. Is that something we need? Snowy plains. Uh, wait, I found a snowy river. There's just one, or frozen river. All right, frozen river. We're doing all of them, yep. Frozen river is at, um, Negative two zero six eight. Okay, let's try that again. Negative two zero six eight. Uh, two eight five one. Hello. Um, and then we have another snow biome. Uh, beach, snowy beach. Locate the biome. This one is 800 blocks away from that. All right. Snowy beach. Let's do all the snow areas. Negative one, four, three, two. And two, four hundred. Okay. All right. So these are the four we're going to do. Ice spikes, snowy plains, frozen river, snowy beach. Ice Spike, Snowy Plains, Snowy Beach, Frozen River. Let's do the ice ones now. Uh, there actually might be Jagged Peaks or Stony Peaks nearby. I'm gonna check. Locate Biome. Jagged Peaks. Nope. Okay, let's check Stony Peaks. Um, and I think we do pass over Gravelly something. Yeah, Windswept Gravel. We actually have Windswept Gravel as well. Locate biome, windswept, gravelly hills. Uh, I'm just gonna write it down too. If we could remember this, that would be good. Um, I need another sign. You should play Terraria. Yeah, we're that's on our list of things to play. We will be playing that at some point. 
Um, wind swept gravel. Negative two one three six two nine one two. Do I just need regular wind swept hills as well? It was just wind swept gravel. Yeah. Ooh, we should do frozen ocean as well. I bet there's frozen ocean near here. Locate biome, frozen ocean. Uh, 800 blocks away. The frozen ocean is actually near the snowy beach. Uh, frozen ocean is negative one, four, two, four. Two, two, three, oh, four. All right, can someone remember all these? Are you gonna do a mega build? I think it would be cool to do that. So yeah, we're gonna get all the frozen ones out of the way real quick here. We have this, we have all of our blocks, we're set. Uh, we just need to divide this by eight, so let's start. Two, three, three, six divided by eight. 292. Two nine one two divided by eight. Three six four. That's the coordinate we need to go to for the ice spike. Let's go. Can you play that song by Bad Bunny? Nah, I get copyright hit. I don't have the. Uh, I don't got the stuff for it. Okay. Okay. Which way is negative? This. Okay. So we're gonna go here until we hit two ninety two. Then I'm just gonna start. Ah, wait. Uh, I guess still we hit 364. Finish watching the latest Small Hide and Seek. Nice. I think there's going to be another one out soon. Small Mario. When Small Mario Part 2 comes out. 364. And then 292. Actually, we might be able to just portal out here. Pretty close to here. Because so I think this will stop at around 292. Nice. Okay. That's actually kind of convenient. Okay, on Crouch. So we need to go to 292. Two. Now we're gonna crouch. And we need to go to three, six, four. I like the click noises, it's so satisfying. <clears throat> Bad internet. Oh, I did drop a few frames there. That might have been me. Oh, wait, did Pooh make a vid on Small Mario? I think I was going to do that. We might have the same session, now I'm thinking about it. Well, at least he got his video up first. Two, three. There we go. Why is he using half slabs? Uh, so mobs don't spawn. Okay, now we need to go to negative X direction, I believe. Wait, this is planes? Should be ice spikes. Give me a sec. Two, three, three, six, two, nine, one, two. Oh, there we go. Ice spikes. All right, we made it to ice spikes. Yeah, now we need to go negative X, and we should hit. Uh, Windswept gravel, and then um, another one. Cause your favorite ant doing? I'm doing well. These are top slabs. Yeah, these ones I'm never gonna come back to, so it doesn't matter. It's about 200 blocks we need to bridge over. It might have been. It might not have been negative x. It might have been positive x, cause the x was going down or like closer to zero. We'll see. If it doesn't change by the time I hit like. 2420, I'll turn around. Actually, I can just check. Okay, um... Ice spikes. Two, 
2135. Oh yeah, this is the wrong direction. Okay. Do SMO without special moves? Say to me how fast to reach at. Uh, I kind of what basically what you have to do and what I think I got pretty decent at is like you you see it but you don't read it and you just store it in your brain and then read it in your head. Like, you're not able to understand it, but you can see what was said, if that makes sense. Sponge bubble, thanks for the two months. Okay, we're still on ice spikes. Five head? Nah, it's just something you get used to. Like, you don't process what is said, you just read it, and then move on. Chat, Mind Palace. Okay, there's Snowy Plains. Now we just need to go a little bit further, and then we'll hit, uh, Windswipe Gravelly Hills. Almost there, another 100 blocks or so. Love your content. I like Breath of the Wild and Nintendo. Hey, glad you like it. This isn't Breath of the Wild Nintendo, but I'm glad you're here. What are you trying to get? I'll show you in just a second. You'll see. Who's your favorite streamer? I haven't watched too many streams recently. I don't know. Oh, there we go. Windswept Gravelly Hills. What we're trying to do today is... This one. Discover every biome. We got our snowy, that's three more biomes done. When getting the next biome, can we have a story time? Okay, let me think of a story. I was gonna ask you guys about something because I, I couldn't remember. Um, I can't remember. I'm tier three sub to Amaranth. I've, I've stopped into the streams once and she was like licking a microphone and I'm like, I do not like this. I, I don't like this at all. I was watching a video, or a movie, I don't know. I was, oh wait, I was watching the se season 5 of, of, uh, Better Call Saul yesterday. And I had to literally mute the show, because I, I don't know what it was, but, um, there was that sequence with the ants, and the ice cream, if you guys know what I'm talking about. I literally had, I had to mute it, I couldn't, I couldn't, uh, listen to it. It, it, like, it was almost like physical pain that I felt. Uh, okay, frozen ocean. Uh, where is the closest frozen? Frozen ocean is... Here. Um, negative... No, stop. Okay, undo that. Just re redo, redo, redo. Stop. Stop listening to me. One, four, two, three, divided by eight. Okay, remember 178, guys. 178. Two, three, oh, four, divided by eight. Okay, what was the first number? Okay, negative 178. By 170, I mean 208 here. What are the plush plates for? Fun! Don't you like the clickitiness? Yeah, so right now we're going towards a frozen ocean biome. Uh, near the frozen ocean, there should be a snowy beach. Can I get a Hoya? 
What do, I, before I do this, what does it mean? I, I, I hear people do this. Again, now that I'm thinking about it, it's mostly the people that played hockey in my high school. But what is, what is, where did it come from? Is it just a funny noise? Is that all it is? Lapis Lazuli, thanks for the year! It was in a vine? I, I, I don't know what exactly they sound like. It's just, it's just like, oh yeah, but with a high pitch, correct? Oh yeah, like that. That's what they did in high school. Oh heck yeah, bud. Thanks. It means cringe. Agree. Alright, here we go. Jimmy here? Is that a Jimmy here thing? Alright, frozen ocean, please. Snowy Taiga? What the frick? Am I at the wrong coordinates? I am... What? Huh? Oh my god, I needed to go to 308. Oh! Wait, I didn't I need Snowy Taiga? Wait, let me look. Do, what what biomes did I need? Actually, I can just check. I have the tracker. A, a tool. I can just open the AA tool? Give it a sec. AA tool. Dot exe. Open C same. Hey, open. Psst, psst, psst. One required one or more assets. No. You were working last time. I can just open up the AA tool and it'll tell me everything I need to know. AA tool. It's not opening for some reason. No, it doesn't need any assets. Shut up. Open file location. Double click. Aha! Okay. Okay, so we got our snowy taiga. Uh, we needed snowy beach, frozen river. Did I not get frozen river? Damn. We need uh, frozen ocean. Uh, we need deep frozen ocean as well. I didn't even notice that. Okay. Uh, okay, well, what's... Uh, I guess I can't do that here. One second. Let me just open this up. Uh, where where am I? What are my coordinates? Like 1300, 1300 something? It's like 1300, 1300. There might be a frozen river nearby. Actually, you know what? Here's what we're going to do. <laughs> Check this out. We're going to hit another biome. I believe it. I'm just going to build in a straight line till we hit a new biome. I believe. This may be a bad idea. I don't care. Okay, it's a bad idea. I take it back. That was taking too long. Um... Negative uh, 1435. What are my coordinates? 1673. 1673. Let's see what we've got. Um... Cold ocean. Oh, we got frozen ocean. Okay, let's just go, uh... Negative Z. No, oh, just this way. That's all I needed to do. What's he doing? Look at the biomes. We're in snowy taiga right now. Look at the F3 menu. It says snowy taiga. Wait for it. Wait for it. 
Wait for it. Wait. Let's just give it a sec. It still says Snowy Taiga. I know it still says it, but just keep watching and you'll see that it's it's gonna it'll just any second now and it's gonna it'll if you just if if, if when you do we finish all the mob farms pretty much yeah frozen ocean there it is if we keep going though we keep going keep going wait for it wait for it wait for it It should have been cold ocean. Oh, there it is. <laughs> Alright, so there's cold ocean. Let's get the... Frozen river. A negative 1472. 1768. Seven six eight. Hmm. We gotta move a few blocks over here. Uh, we also need to hit the frozen beach as well. What's the seed? I will not tell you guys because you spoiled stuff. You would spoil stuff. So if I hit frozen river, that's what we're going for right now. One seven six eight. What's your best habit? I don't have any habits. I think the only thing that is allows me to be good at anything. Is uh, when I really, when I get motivated, I fully capitalize on that motivation, whatever it is that I'm motivated to do. Like, it's like, I take 100% full, uh, full, go all in on whatever I'm motivated into. It's a fickle thing, but when it's there, I am the most productive person on the freaking planet. Alright, we'll hit a frozen ocean in a second. There we go. And by frozen ocean, I mean frozen river. Good. Uh, we are now going to find, locate frozen beach. Or snowy beach. Uh, 1,700 blocks away. Well then. The seat is 20 minutes. No, 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 no. Uh, actually, we need deep frozen ocean now. We still haven't hot hit deep frozen. I really hope there's a close deep frozen. That'd be nice. Locate deep. Uh, locate biome. Deep. Frozen ocean. 3,000 blocks. Okay, well, we got what we could. I wonder if there's just a regular ocean around here. Locate. Okay, biome ocean. 764 blocks away. All right, let's go back to the nether and cross some stuff off and figure out what we're missing and go back. Just give me a sec. I have like a million different windows open right now. Are you cheating by doing that? Here, here's the thing, Randy. Here's the thing. You know, I could make, you know, a hundred thousand stone slabs and bridge for six months straight to find all the biomes. Or I could uh, get the regular seed and I could uh, just find the biomes in the regular seed and uh, do it like that. Which one is more entertaining to watch? I think the, uh, the answer is obvious. You know, I don't really want to bridge for six months doing nothing else. What if you made a flying machine with slime blocks and pistons? That is slower than bridging. So... Hmm. 
Yeah. At this point, you know, I don't care if you consider it cheating or not. I'm not sitting here for six months to uh, randomly bridging, hoping I hit the rare biomes. I'm just not going to do it. <laughs> I'm just not going to. Can't gas spawn? No, nah, we've made it in a way that they can't. Okay, so we, I think, hit the ice spikes. Let me double check. Um, we hit the ice spikes. Yeah, and we hit the snowy plains. Yes. We hit Frozen River. We did not hit Snowy Beach. We hit Windswept Gravel, and we hit Frozen Ocean. All right, let's uh, let's adjust these signs then. Uh, we still need to hit the beach. So let's uh, get rid of this and say Snowy Beach. Snowy Beach. Uh-huh. I believe we did hit Snowy Taiga. Old Pine, Old Spruce Grove. Old Pine... Um, old, what? Old pine, old spruce, and then grove. Uh, we hit windswept gravel and frozen ocean. Uh, I think we've already been to a lukewarm ocean. No, we have not, so we just need lukewarm and then regular ocean. Luke ocean, and then... Ocean. Okay. So we have the coordinates to a snowy beach. Let's do that next. 1432 divided by 8. 179. And then 2400 is pretty easy. That's the coordinates we need to get to for a frozen beach. Let's do it. Ah. <sighs> And yeah, we're starting to cut down on these deep frozen. Like, a lot of these will be kind of... Oh, I think we've actually already got desert. Let me just double check. Did we get desert? We did get a desert, yes. Savannah, Savannah, Plateau, Windswept Savannah. Savannah, Plateau, Windswept Savannah. Not too many left now. One, two, three, four, ten... 16, I think. Yep, 16 left. 16 biomes left. Wait a minute, that doesn't seem right. No, yeah, 16 left, that's it. Wow, sweet. All right, so we need to get to what other coordinates, 179, 300. This will bring us to 300. And I think 179 is to the left. Will you travel to the world border? I don't think I will. Okay. Oh, we're crouching still. Alright. We have enough here. Good. Gonna make yourself a pizza. Have a good time with the pizza. How do you know where to go for each one? I have a world that is sky block, but with the blocks, and we're just searching that world for the uh, the biomes. Man. I'm glad I uh, actually have a week off uh, next week, because my fingers are starting to get a little bit sore. I've been doing a lot of uh, computer work off stream, and uh, my fingers, I, I think they, they actually really could use a week off. Like, I, I'm starting to not use my index finger. You're subbed and followed. Thank you. Like my, my index fingers are starting to get tired, so I've been playing with my middle finger today. <laughs> I know it's like super minimal stuff. Have you done Shattered Savannah? Shattered Savannah isn't actually even one you need to locate. Please don't get Carpal Tunnel. It's not Carpal Tunnel. I have a, a repetitive strain injury. Jose, nice of the prime. Finger gains? No, it's finger losses. Ever thought of getting those arthritis gloves? I might. Let's see. Remember the time the game glitched? Yeah, it glitched. It wasn't my fault. It, was, it couldn't have been me. Have you Feinberg's new merch? Uh, I have not. I saw, like, a really blurry picture of, like, a teaser that didn't make any sense, but is it good? We just got back again with a friend modded. I think we'll probably end up doing Terraria Calamity with a friend if I can find someone to do it with. 
find like a, a streamer friend to play uh, Terraria Calamity with. Love your bits. I really like how the whooper emote turned out, and I feel like some of my animated emotes are lacking. You know, what, what are all the animated emotes we have right now? Could, could someone just uh, feel free to post them in chat? This is your permission to just dump animated emotes in chat. What are all of them? Yeah. If I were to replace animated emotes, I think I think I'm gonna keep small brain. I think small looking is okay. I don't know about the other two. How do you, how do you all feel about the other two? What, which if if I were to remove one and replace it, one which one should be removed and replace it with what? Because I feel like whooper small whoop that's a real good one. You think coffee? I, I kind of like coffee. I, I actually use that one. Alright, deep ocean. This is supposed to be a beach. Does small coffee need to be animated? I guess it doesn't need to be animated. No music emote should be static. I mean, small whoop is kind of the, the music emote. Honestly, I might remove small hum and just have whoop. Remove bonk? Okay. Wait, am I at positive 1436? Oh, no. No. Am I an idiot? <sighs> yeah, I'm at two positive numbers. Well, maybe we can make this work. Deep frozen ocean? 700 blocks away. Uh, snowy beach. 1300 blocks away. Okay, well, um. I have no idea how I got this coordinate in my head, but I'm just going to check why I did this. Because I'm pretty sure it was at 2400. Was there something right here? I don't know why I was here. Any idea when the next lockout stream will be? We're doing a lockout with uh, Linkus on Thursday. Breath of the Wild. So yeah, I guess I'm just dumb. Yeah, it might have been negative 700. I'm going to double check that before I go there though. Um, this one. Is this supposed to be negative? Yep, that was supposed to be negative. There's your snowy beach. Okay, yeah, I actually needed negative 179. Which is sick, you want me to link it? I'm sure I could find it. First time in the streams, ordinary life is great. Welcome. Can you do more videos with bloody? I think I will at some point eventually, but in time. Okay, I think I'm gonna take the boat path. We're gonna have to chop these down eventually so they don't look so ugly all the time. Alright, we're gonna go to negative 179 and I'll just build out 50 blocks to the right. I think that'll be fastest. Negative 179. Wait, what? Wait, well you've already built out this way. I passed it. Yeah, I, I literally passed the beach on the way. Dang. We're working on we're working on getting all of the biomes. So right now we're just uh, getting all the biomes. 
and then building to them in the nether. We ever touch this world once you get all the advancements? Maybe we'll do like a mega build if if you guys really want. Make some like crazy thing in it. We'll see. So this should be a beach. Frozen beach. Wait until it loads though. Um, and then from this frozen beach, I'm gonna check to see if there's any close biomes. Uh, you mother love some other long Minecraft thing? Yeah. Could be fun. Are you redoing 8 player SML speedrun? It was so hard to coordinate 8 people. I think that was CJ's thing. We're just waiting for Chunk, I guess. For it to load. Here. Hardcore Minecraft. Maybe. Maybe. Is it loaded yet? It hasn't loaded yet. Dang it. Oh, wait. New Stranger Things came out. Was it good? Anybody watch New Stranger Things? No spoilers. Was it good? Very good. It was correct. Excellent news. Hey. What the heck is taking so long? I've been waiting for Chunk for years. I'm gonna move over to the next Chunk. Snowy Taiga. Snowy Beach. Okay, we got another biome, baby! Uh, what could be near here? Deep Frozen? Old Spruce? I'm gonna check really quick. Load the biome. Deep frozen ocean. It's uh, 4,000 blocks away from this. Is a deep frozen. Thanks to the 26 Nova. Let's go. New badge. I don't think that's a new badge at 26. Appreciate it though. <laughs> um, locate biome. What biome did I need to find again? Uh, Brand noodle. Uh, right, spruce. Old growth spruce. Yeah, let's get old growth spruce next. Uh, negative 1276. Ice spikes we already got. Uh, there's one that's pretty close. We won't have to go super far. Uh, Sunlit, thank you so much for the five subs. Thank you. I appreciate that. Okay, uh... 1276 divided by 8. Alright, we'll need to go to 159. 2848 divided by 8. Alright, we need to go to 356. All right, so we're going in this direction now, and what was that first number? Does anyone hear it? What was that first number again? One, two, seven, six divided by eight. 159, okay. So yeah, 159, and then we'll go five blocks this way. And it should have a, uh, a new biome. Old growth spruce. And then uh, we'll need to get more obsidian. Because we are running out. Because I built so many portals. So many! And I do need to disassemble these because disassemble these stuff can't spawn on top. So we're in old growth spruce now. Yeah, there's old growth spruce taiga. There's another one. You the best. Hey, thanks. Uh, we need old pine, jagged peaks, stony peaks. Let's check if there's anything around here like that. We've actually been to eroded badland and wooded badland, but we never went to regular badland. That's a little embarrassing. <laughs> Um, 
such a banger. This is so good. I love this song. Uh, locate biome old growth pine. 1400 away. Oh, yeah, we'll write that down here. Um, love the Pokemon tracks. So good. So good. You know what? Screw it. I'll just grab six from here. Two. So we don't have to run back. I'm not going to get all of them. <sighs> what story could I tell? Let's see. I'm trying to think if there's any, like, house-moving stories that I could... I, I mean, I haven't really moved anything yet. Oh, man. Okay, so... You know how I said my license plates got stolen? Uh, license plates got stolen this weekend, right? Um, I was walking, and uh, the the building manager was like, "Are you gonna move your car?" I'm like, "Why? The construction this week?" I'm like, "Yeah." And I was like, "Oh, I'm I'm trying to, but you know, my license plates got stolen." And you know what she said? Like, well, they wouldn't have gotten stolen if you used it more. I'm like, what are you talking about? How is that connected at all? You know how much gas is right now? That makes zero sense? I know. She did it. She's been stealing my license plates. I knew it. I freaking knew it. God damn. What was I doing? I can't remember what I was doing. I was getting a biome. Was it old pine, I think? Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. We're gonna go, uh, negative... 2268 divided by 8. Three eight four zero divided by 8. Alright, that's where we need to go. Blocks for it? Oh, I do. Why do people steal license plates? It's so they can, like, get away with, like, they can steal a vehicle and then swap license plates with someone's, who, someone's vehicle who hasn't been stolen. And then until someone notices the plate's been stolen, they can just drive around. Again, 480. Ah, that makes sense, yeah. Were the license plates customized? Yeah. Smant 7. Yeah, it's cheaper in Calgary. So you won't get your license plate stolen anymore? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I'm just gonna leave it in the garage and drive it never. What happened to the other six? They were stolen. The other stick, the other six 2001 Toyota Camrys were stolen. This is the seventh one. The entire vehicle, not just the plates. I've had a string of bad luck. Hope it's a beige 2001. Might be. Uh, might be. Old growth pine. All right. 
Let's leave. Okay, on to the next biome. We are now missing 13, I think. Let's do uh let's do jagged peaks next, huh? Jagged Peaks. There's one a thousand blocks away. It's not terrible. Uh, let's check for Badlands. 1300? Nope. Uh, jungle maybe? I'm pretty sure we've been to a jungle before. I don't know. We just didn't do the other biomes. Uh, Savannah. Locate biome Savannah. Sorry, I'm checking right now. 2,000 blocks. Gross. I'm just trying to find any biomes while I'm here. Grove is 1,500. Yikes. I don't think there's, like, anything that's of use. Two th everything is, like, thousands of blocks away. This is ridiculous. Deep frozen. I think we still need that. Yeah, you know what? Let's just go back to spawn. Let's go back to spawn and try and find a... Uh, I'm going to teleport back to spawn and find the closest biome that I have missed, and we'll use that. Uh, huh. Uh, we're going to locate the Badlands, because I think I just missed it while I was there. 4,500 blocks away. 45, 44, and then 544. All right. Just give me a minute to run back here. And we'll, uh, we'll be boating back in a GIF. I can't see chat. It's a little covered. Yeah, only 13 biomes left. Getting all biomes, you know, it's taken a little bit, but it's a bit of a grind. But we're almost done. We just have, uh, you know, Savannah we can do in one swoop. Because uh, that's three biomes. Uh, bamboo uh, jungle. Jungle we can do in one. That's three. You know, the other ones are going to be pretty close to spawn. So it should only be like a, you know, 100, 200 block bridge. It should be chill. Uh, anyways, we need to go to positive uh, 500 here. Let me just minimize this so I can see chat. Surprised I haven't made a Mario Odyssey 2 yet? Ah, they've been working on other things, I'm sure. Maybe when they need money, they'll make a second one. Uh, 4,500. What is... Uh, oh, I probably need... Oh, I forgot. I need to go grab the... Um, You thought Hypixel Skyblock would be good for you? Isn't that just like a grindy MMO experience? Kind of thing? You think Breath of the Wild 2 comes out first? Oh yeah, 100% it will. Yeah, I think solo Skyblock is, is, is good. Alright, we just gotta grab a little more obsidian. Give me a sec to gra grab it. No reason not to make it? Yeah, I mean, they, they want to always make a good game though. We're going to have to uh, turn on the machine. We're starting to run low on Obsidian. Lee Shirley and the 12-man nation. Thank you for the eight months. Just killing the Ender Dragon, one of the last achievements. You can actually can't. What I will do is if we can, like, somehow safely downgrade a version to, like, an earlier version and force certain blocks to appear, like an April Fool's version or something... Um, we may be able to actually make it to the end and complete more advancements. Uh, we, I don't think we'll ever be able to complete all of them because we can never make a Bastion appear to get the chest in a Bastion advancement. But, uh, it would be cool to, to get to the end. That, that'd be a bunch more. Chuck Lint, thanks for the five months. 45, 44, divided by 8. What is that? That's, uh, 500... 500 and what? Something. 568? Okay. Yeah, we need to go to 568 and then 68. 
Can you place a chest in a spot where a bastion would be? No, you have to open up a bastion generated chest. We tried that. We tried the exact spot a bastion chest would be. Didn't work. It was unfortunate, but didn't work. Okay, so 568, and then we need to go to 68, which is this way. How's your day been? It's been good. I had a, a productive morning, made a good amount of phone calls. I still don't have an internet appointment lined up for my one place. Uh, I'm gonna have to phone freaking... I phoned a few different internet service providers. So I called TELUS. So when I, before I got the house, right? Before I got it sorted out. Before I even made an offer on any houses, I checked to see that they could have really, really good fiber internet. And I checked my address. And they offered fiber internet. I was like, fantastic, I can put an offer in. That was like the last thing I checked before I put in any offers for a place. And, um... I go to call this weekend to get an appointment, to, to get my internet set up. And they're like, oh, that address isn't in our system. And I'm like, hmm? What? Yeah, that, that address is not in our system. So you don't... But you don't offer internet to that address? I'm like, well, well we can, but I need to put in a ticket. Like, are you sure? Like, before I bought the house, I checked that you had an internet service provider there. And you said you had, like, fiber internet. Like, oh, you must have typed it in wrong. And I'm like, I didn't type in my own address wrong. But okay. So, uh, I don't have any internet lined up for when I move yet, which is very bad. Uh, I also... I said it earlier today, but, uh, I called another internet service provider, Bell. Because I'd searched internet service providers Calgary, and Bell was the second thing that showed up. And, um... And I called them, and I was like, hey, I'm looking for internet. And they're like, what province are you in? Alberta. We don't offer internet there. The why does your... Why does the webs... <laughs> okay. Goodbye. So yeah, I've had, I've had, I've been struggling a little bit. All right, we need to go to four one two eight. Hotspot can work temporarily, maybe. We'll see. Four one two eight divided by eight. No stream, not for a week. I need to set stuff up for a week, anyways. Five sixteen. Yeah, we won't, uh, we won't have, for about a week, have streams, because I think that'll be enough time, but no matter what, if I have to, I'll just call Shaw again. I think the plan, as long as it doesn't, it doesn't have any issues, uh, I'm going to probably have two internet service providers, so if one is being awful one day, I can just use the other one, because probably the amount that I lose if I miss a day of streaming is is worth like freaking a year of a cheap internet plan. Sean, thank you for the 10 subs. 288 divided by eight. But yeah, I've, uh, I, in the past when I've had internet issues, I have called Shaw, and I was like, my internet is not here, I pay $300 a month for a business plan. My business relies on an internet connection. Like, I'm sorry, there's nothing we can do. I'm like, I will pay any amount to get this fixed today. Any amount. Because it was like a special event day that the last time it happened. Like, there's nothing we can do. And I was like, if I give you $5,000 right now, there's nothing you can do? I'm sorry, there's nothing I can do. If I give you personally, and I, it was like, no, nothing. I was, I was desperation mode at that point, because we had like a big event. I think that was during Pokemon week, where we had planned it for like 
two months in advance at the end of the year. And it was like, I didn't even care if I, I was going to lose money. I just wanted to freaking stream it, you know? And there's just, no, there's nothing we can do. It's like, I hate you. I'm obviously, you know, there's there's nothing that specific person could do, so I wasn't like angry at them. Just the... nothing. <laughs> All right, um, we need to go to uh, 288 now, or no, we're at 288. We need to go to 64 now. I'm just gonna build over 200 blocks this way. Did you end up fixing it? No, no. It, I mean, it fixed itself eventually. The node that we're on is really unstable with bad weather. Mon, thanks for the five subs. Oh, it's E for the rescue, yeah. So yeah, if I don't if I if I don't absolutely have to, I am literally never using Shaw again. Also, I think maybe when I move, I'm just gonna angry tweet at them so they just get a bunch of negative uh social media stuff out of spite spiteful ant yeah does Calgary not have Rogers I have no idea I think uh, Rogers would be on the same note as Telus though I think they share a node I was trying to find two ISPs that use different, like, things, in case, because if one's down, both of them are down kind of thing. That's just petty. I'm petty. I don't care. I thought all of Calgary got fiber optics. Yeah, it should. It's just, it's weird that that's not in their system. Yeah, actually, before uh, Telus phone closes, I'm going to have to call them again today. Because I, I need internet before next, you know, hopefully by the time I get there. Just make your own internet. Yeah, I'll just make my own ISP. In Calgary, we have Telus, Shaw, Sastel, Rogers for home internet. Okay, Cole Bean Bryant, thank you for the info. Um, what are, what would you recommend, Cole Bean, if not Telus? Let's see. Moki has so many issues with Rogers. Okay, not Rogers. Okay, we need to go to... Uh... Oh, we're in Sparse Jungle. That's where we needed to go. I'm an idiot. We've been building in Sparse Jungle for how long? Oh my god, I was just reading chat. Yeah, okay, I built only an extra 20 bucks. Shaw sucks, and the others aren't fast or stable. So there's no good options? <sighs> yeah, the one thing that I've noticed is that the only internet service provider that provides a decent upload speed is TELUS. That's it. The maximum upload speed for anything else is like a quarter of what TELUS offers. How does Newfoundland have some of the best internet in Canada? East. It's east. My finger's starting to get sore. I want to get all these biomes, though. We're so close. Check this out. Check this out. Look. at. We literally need 10 more biomes. That is it. All right. Okay. Locate. Savannah. How many blocks do we have? Let's go get more blocks. Uh, ISPs, yeah, ISPs in Canada. I, I feel like ISPs everywhere. People always complain. Starlink's always an option. It's not, uh, stable. My mom actually bought Starlink, and, uh, right now, the way she, it's set up, it's not, uh, it's not stable enough to stream from. 
How long do you stream for? Uh, it depends on the day. Sometimes it's three hours, sometimes it's 12. Uh, window looking goodness. But yeah, just uh, after this week, I will be streaming an hour earlier. Um, once this week ends, the streams will now start an hour earlier because I'm moving one time zone uh, east, which means uh, I'll be later and I don't want to have to stream later. I want to be able to have my evenings if I if I want them. Check to see if the building next to you had fiber optics. Oh, that's a good point. Yeah, I could have just checked to see. I mean, I do. I do. I, I know I do. The house is not an old house. <clears throat> if you've made a chunky runky skin for Hollow Knight, would you play it on stream? The next time I did Hollow Knight, I would use it. really want me to play Terraria Calamity. Play for 193 hours straight, yes. I have a feeling that today we won't be getting all of the advancements. We'll definitely be getting at least the biomes, but maybe not all of them. Okay, we just need Grove from here now. Grove. Let me just check to see what biomes we need so I can cross those out. Okay. We've done a sparse jungle, bamboo jungle, badlands. We still haven't done deep frozen. So we have grove and a deep frozen ocean. Oh, uh, we haven't done any savannas. We also just haven't done lukewarm ocean and ocean. Yeah. Luke ocean. Grove, Luke, Warm Ocean, uh, Deep Frozen, and just a regular ocean. Okay. Um, that's everything. These are the biomes that are left. Jagged Peaks, Stony Peaks, Flower Forest, the Savannas, and then some oceans. That's sick. It's so close. What the hell is Jagged Peaks? Um, I think it's just void, mostly. Should have a flower forest kind of near spawn. Uh, 288, which would be 30 plus 48, which is 6, 36, and 3, 2, 36, 40. So you go to po positive 36, negative 40. I forgot to get the stone, whatever. Look like a big ant. <laughs> big for you, maybe. Let's see how good my mental math is. Any tips on how to have a good stream? Just have a good time. Talk to people as best you can. If you're trying to learn how to get better at streaming, watch your own stream, see what parts you enjoy the most, and try and do that a little bit more. That's the way to do it. What is about channel takes so long to put his new bid? We're catching up. We're a little bit behind right now. Hey, we're in a flower forest. Let's go. Um, flower forest is actually an interesting one. This one we might revisit because I believe flower forest, you can get, um, can you get any type of flower in flower forests if you grow grass? If you use bone meal on grass? Yeah, okay. So that's actually kind of important for dyes. Not all of them, but like almost everyone. What's your favorite content you make? Uh, it varies day by day. Uh, recently it has been Skyblock, 
the map randomizers have been really fun. Um, what was I looking for again? Which biome next? Uh, I guess it doesn't really matter. Wait. Is... Okay, let's uh, let's look for a grove now. Actually. I was trying to find my Minecraft window. Locate Grove. Uh, it is at negative 128 and then positive 576. 128 uh, is 156. No, 100 and... No, 16? 16. 128 is just 16 blocks over. So, yeah, 16 blocks over this way. And 576. 576 divided by 8 is what? 576 divided by 8. New is divisible. 72. 72. Okay. Negative, positive. So, the positive 72 this way. Alright, positive 72. And here. And we just go uh, 16 blocks out this way. 18. Boom, boom, boom. You use cologne? Uh, I don't really go out that much. Like, I have deodorant, but I've actually never used... Oh my god, this is really bad. I gotta disassemble this on the way out. I didn't realize I wasn't building on a half slab level. Because mobs can spawn in here. I don't really get out much. You know, if I if I go to some place fancy, maybe I'll, I'll look into getting some. But, like... I just play video games on the internet. If I go to, like, some fancy event... Yeah, but yeah until then. I'm waiting for Chunk. Stop waiting. Birch Forest? Wait, did I not go into the negative? Did I not go? Oh my god, I'm an idiot. I didn't go to the negative. That's my base! Huh. Wait, I just almost disassembled my own portal. I'm an idiot. Yeah, that's my base right over there. I actually need to go 16 blocks in this direction. <gasps> Disassemble it. Ah, ah, ah! I almost died again. Yeah, this is probably the the longest. It, is this the longest advancement? Like that doesn't require any like setup. You just gotta freaking do it. Cause um definitely the the kill something team up with an axolotl to kill something is just ridiculous. Go to 16. Negative 16 this time, so I'm not being stupid. 13, 14, 15, 16. There we go. Now we'll build our portal. Problem solved. Hello there, hello. Ow. Gotta be so careful with these. But um Grove! Look at that! Minecraft Grove biome. Could've just built there in my other one. Bang! No problem. Okay! Guess how many biomes we have left. Look at this, look at this! Eight! And there's some really easy ones. We got the Jagged Peaks, Stony Peaks, the Savannas, 
Ocean. Lukewarm ocean, frozen ocean. It's three oceans, two mountains, three savannas. That's it. That's it. Locate savannah. Locate biome. Savannah. It's really far away. What the hell? Um. All right. Two, two, four. Divided by eight. Three, four. Three, four, two, four. Divided by eight. Four, twenty-eight. Okay. This definitely doesn't go to the 400 mark, but I think it goes to like 200 something, right? Oh, it's actually kind of close. I do need more blocks though, which I forgot about. Let's go grab more blocks and get back to grinding. Man, mobs can spawn on the portals. They can't because uh, portals give a, a tiny bit of light. I believe so. We're, we're good on that front. And honestly, if they happen to spawn one or two there, like it's not an issue. I think maybe this labs haven't despawned. It spawned. Despawned. Nether mobs don't care about light levels. Okay, if there's some zombie piglins chilling in the overworld, whatever, right? Did these despawn yet? They did. Boom, 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 boom. Bang, 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 bang. My little brother named Sal can said hi. Can you say hi, Sal? Hi, Sal. Hello. Okay. <sighs> Bincy, or B-I-N-E-C-I. -E Thanks for the prime. Let's sleep. Make sure we don't get hit by any phantoms. Okay. Awesome dust. Thank you for the uh, 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 uh. Alright, let's check where a another type of savanna is. Locate biome. Windswept Savannah. Okay. Um, Windswept Savannah is actually a lot closer. 768 divided by 8. 96. Don't make fun of me. 512 divided by 8. 64. I, I knew it was easy. I knew it was an easy one. Okay, negative 96. Don't laugh at me. I couldn't remember what 512 divided by 8 is. Okay, actually, this looks like it could work. Um, negative 96. Anybody else on a math test check like 7 plus 4 on a calculator if you have a calculator? Like if they're allowed? I've definitely done that on like a math test in the past. Wait, wait, is 7 plus 4 really 11? I gotta double check this. <laughs> then, then like 7 times 8, you check it like a million times because 7 times 8 for whatever reason is just impossible. How the hell do remember? How do how do people remember seven times eight? I honest, I don't think it's possible. Is it fifty six? Is it is it forty something? I don't know. Fifty three? No, fifty. No, yeah, it's fifty. What? Excuse me. You are not supposed to link up, sir. Bruh. 
I'm gonna have to deactivate this portal somehow. Look at how far I... You should not be linking together, bro. Stop it. How... Seven times nine minus seven. I don't like that. You learn the mnemonic? I guess, you know, five, six, seven, eight. Seven times eight is five, six. Five, six is equal to seven times eight. That's a good mnemonic. Okay, I'm going a little bit further and hope the portals don't link up. Coward. So we're going like an extra hundred blocks. I might need a bridge in the overworld. We'll see. Sasism so cool. Let's go. Okay, please. Okay, this is just a regular old beach. Uh, we're gonna go this way. And this should eventually hit a windswept savanna. We're gonna watch the biome. effect spawns. I think so. I'm gonna have to probably disassemble this. 5, 12. Shift key finger. I'm actually not even pressing it. I have it toggled, so it just literally won't let go. New badge? 30 months? Yo. There we go. Wins up, Savannah. Alright. I'm just gonna see if there's any other Savannah's nearby that. Do, 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 locate biome Savannah. Uh, Savannah. Savannah Plateau? Apparently, there is like a single block of windswept Savannah here and nothing else. So, it was fun while it lasted, I guess. When does 119 come out, Cash Cab? Our biome's not limited link to chunks? No. No, they vary. In like a week? Oh yeah, I'm not getting 200 hours of footage edited in a week. Yo, what do we unlock? We, we could add a little bit. <laughs> Looking for an editor? Not at the moment. Da -da 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 the deep dark warden says sup comes out during my week off dang it dude really missing out on content there huh I gotta make this spawn proof without deactivating the portal so it doesn't affect the efficiency of the farm that should work. Alright. So that one's done. Um, let's check the next biome. Okay. Will, there be, will I ever be in a video with a Mr. Beast? I actually already have been in a video. One sub, if someone can name... Uh, one sub to the... Sub to the first person that isn't sub that names which video it was. There you go, MacMoke gets the sub. I was in a hide and seek video around the world on Mr. Beast Gaming. Welcome to the ant colony. 
All right, let's check uh, Jagged Peaks. Locate biome. Uh, wow, okay. Negative 2080. 2080 divided by 8. Okay, so we need to go to negative 260. Wait, let me try that again. Negative 260 and then 608. 608 divided by 8. 76, yeah. I know it was an easy one. Um, do I have blocks? I just don't have the portal. Okay, let's get four of these and we'll just build over. Just arrived. What is happening? I am getting all of the biomes. One of the most difficult advancements. How much do you make a stream? I have no idea. It varies so much. I, I haven't really done the math in a long time. Okay, what's the coordinates we need to go to? I'm positive 76. Okay. Alright. So we're going to go to negative or positive 76 to start. 110. Ah, you gonna miss them with your roommates? Yeah, they're actually, they're super nice. I've been with, with them for like, freaking like six years. It's been a long time. Time by, time is starting to go by really fast. I'm getting older, and it's awful. Getting older sucks. Kind of rude asking how much they make. I think it's only rude. I don't think it should be rude. I don't know. In terms of like, uh, like within a company, I think it's probably pretty fair. Cause then like you make sure that everyone's getting paid a fair, getting paid a fair amount. What's the worst thing about getting old? I just I get to play so many video games that my hands hurt. Bills? Bills aren't even that bad. You know, you, you hold down a job. You're, you're doing okay. This is my magma farm. We haven't seen this in like 10 years. Negative 260. Bills, I, I found for me, especially living in Canada where you can't get like a surprise, like a medical bill and just your life is over. Um, I don't know. I, I feel like even just having like a minimum wage job, I was doing okay. Like I, I, had, a, I, had, a, I had a couple thousand dollars saved up. I had, I had a good, good fund when I was like working the equivalent of a minimum wage job. It wasn't too bad. I mean, I didn't have like a family to support or anything. Which helped. Trying to eat enough every day is hard. I really enjoy cheap foods. Oh. Llamas just died. Chickens! Bye bye. Alright, we're at Jagged Peaks. Cool. I wonder if there's any uh near the Jagged Peaks. If there's any um let's see, what else? What else do we need? What other biomes? Stony Peaks, maybe? Locate stony, locate biome, stony peaks. 4,500 blocks away, okay. We're only missing a few biomes now, only missing a few. 
Do, 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 do. Any missing of the oceans? Locate biome ocean. There's 250 blocks away, there's an ocean. Yeah, okay. Um, we just need to go to in the nether. 1856 divided by 8. 232.60 As long as they don't drop any of these. Turtle spawn place? Yeah, I mean, we're here. Okay, never mind. We can go to the turtle spawn place. Two thirty two sixty. How many times have you choked in your life? I have never choked. Not to the point where I, like, needed assistance. Um, luckily, because it is doesn't seem very pleasant. Yeah, I have not choked myself. I... Yeah. I choke in games all the time. We need to grab more obsidian. We have so many just random things sticking out now, it's crazy. Getting closer to 200? Yeah, I don't think we'll reach 200 today. My, my hands are starting to get sore. I don't want to overdo it. Got to be very careful. If you so many portals, man. That implies you've witnessed someone choking? Yeah, my roommate. I had to give him the, the, little, the little J hook. Go behind him and do the... Heimlich, it's called the J-hook now, um, because the Heimlich apparently doesn't describe the maneuver well enough. Oh, that's an important call. Sorry about that. I made a, a, a purchase related to my house stuff today, and they were just like, you made a pretty large purchase today. Is Was this you? It was, it was my house insurance that I, that I got today. I got house insurance. <laughs> Uh, we need to go to negative something. I can't remember exactly the number. Let me double check for the ocean. It was, uh, 60, okay. 60, what was the, what was the number? 1856 divided by 8. 232. Negative 232 is our next destination. Okay, for house insurance, yep. 
230. Dang, it's like just directly above the farm. Huh. Why are there so many pressure plates? You never know when you're going to need them. You never know. What happens if I want to add redstone? You know, now I don't have to add the plates. Twenty-two months. That's a long time. Dang. It's a very long time. You should build an automatic sweet berry farm. I can't. There's no sweet berries. I wish. If I could get sweet berries, I'd get them. All right, we're in the ocean biome. Uh, I'm actually just gonna check if there's like a deep frozen ocean around because that is what we're missing still. All right, what biomes are we missing? Not many. Not many biomes. Uh, lukewarm and deep frozen. Let's check. Locate biome lukewarm ocean 2,000 blocks away All right, and then deep frozen. I think we still need 3,000 blocks away, okay, well, we're not getting any of those <laughs> 13 months well worth it blight yo Thanks for sticking around Next time I visit these farms, I'll need to disassemble this. I just don't want to disassemble it right now, because I'm lazy. Alright. Stop being lazy? No, I. It's, it'll just look bad. It's not actually functionally doing anything bad. I mean, other than, you know, mobs will spawn on it once I need once I doing stuff because mobs can spawn while we're in the farm and then kill us so we'll just disassemble it when we need to use the farm next how many biomes are you missing let's double check five biomes we need five <laughs> build a mob switch so that'll be easier we could do a mob switch at one point. All right, so we've done. Um, let's see. All right, we've. Let's see now. We have Savannah, Devana. Uh, Savannah. We have Savannah. I hate that. Savannah, Savannah, Plateau, Lukewarm Ocean, a Deep Frozen Ocean, and we have Stony Peaks. These are the five biomes left. Davana. Anybody heard of Davana before? Alright. You can get foxes to spawn, they can chance holding berries. Nah, we tried that. They cannot spawn holding berries, unfortunately. Locate biome. Which biome are we locating? Savannah Plateau. Um 352 divided by 8. 44. Savannah's where Acacia is. Well, not in this. But yes. 3680 divided by 8. 460. Both positive. That's next. We got the blocks for it. Yep. Watching any TV shows right now? Watching, catching up on uh, Better Call Saul. Alright, this is good because... You know, getting to 460 kind of sucks. We'll need to go to the left, it looks like. Mm. Alright, so what I'm going to do is go 100 blocks over this way. To 460. What's your favorite food? So, I've said for a long time it's spaghetti. 
and specifically pasta is my favorite type of food. But I think I've, my my opinion has changed. I I think I've uh, I think certain types of soups have eked it out. And um, I I think I every time I have ramen, I like it more and more. So you know, it might be might be ramen and just soups in general. Soups are so good. Like, soups are so versatile and tasty. Recommend Jinya. Is that a chain? Because I've been to another place called that before. Can't go wrong. Exact. Well, you can go wrong with ramen. Ramen is not soup. What? How is ramen not a soup? I don't believe that. How is ramen not soup? It's child. Thanks for the tier one. It is noodle. It's a noodle soup. It's weeb spaghetti. Okay, I believe that. I can agree with that. Ramen is just weeb spaghetti. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So my favorite food is still spaghetti, but just with a different flavor. What's your favorite drink? Straight vodka. Dripstone Caves? Damn it. Let me out. Savannah Plateau. There we go. Very good. Uh, mango juice is the best drink. Mango juice is so tasty. Stony Peaks. Okay, by um Stony Peaks. Whew. Three seven seven six divided by eight. One seven nine two divided by eight. That's where we're going next. I've read sake. Is it any good? I didn't really like it. Breakfast food is the best food? I don't know. I feel like it's kind of overrated. I used to have, like, make waffles and pancakes every morning. You know, I had bacon and eggs. It's kind of just, like, all... I mean, bacon is really good, but... It's all kind of just all right. I don't know. Waffles or waffles slash crepes are definitely the best thing that can come out of breakfast. Where are we going? 224. How many blocks we got? That'll be enough. Bang. Hash browns. Hash browns are good, actually. Hash browns, I, I feel like as long as they're seasoned correctly, they can be good. We're going to be bridging for 472 blocks, so it's story time. What kind of story would you want? All right. An American story. I'll tell you guys a story about when I was in America. So, in my first time traveling alone to America, it was a, a, a Games Done Quick event. Summer Games Done Quick. I was rooming with Trihex, his girlfriend, and uh, another streamer, speedrunner, Bayleaf. And uh, uh, at the event, you know, we're staying in a hotel. We decide we want some pizza for supper. So we go, we, uh, we get, uh, get onto some delivery app. We go to a restaurant, and the only place that's open 
uh, is a pizza place. And we're like, all right, we'll get some pizza. That sounds good. That trihex? Yes, that one. Um, so we order pizza. We get like three big pizzas for the four of us to, to split. It arrives at the hotel. And the pizzas are cold and uncooked. Apparently what we ordered were pizzas that you have to cook yourselves. They just assemble them. And we are in a hotel. Like, not cooked at all. Like, the dough was raw. Take and bake. Stupid. So we get these pizzas, we're sitting in the lobby of the hotel, and we're like... What do we do? And I'm looking around... And there is a restaurant attached... To the hotel. And I, I look at them and I'm like... Maybe the restaurant will cook it for us. And Trihex and, and Black Antivenom and Bayleaf, they all laugh at me. They're like, <laughs> good one. Yeah, all right. Yeah, we can tell you're Canadian. All right. Yeah, sure. Sure, you could ask them. And I'm like, no, for, like, why, do, why not? Like, what do we have to lose? They're like, I mean, uh, all right. So we walk up, we, we leave the pizzas on a, on a table on the side. Uh, we, and we walk up, uh, and uh, we, we talk to a, the server to seat us, the four of us, and uh, we're like, I, I, I walk up and I'm like, hey, this is a weird request. We accidentally ordered a bunch of uncooked pizzas. Would it be possible for you to use your ovens to cook them for us? And she was like, uh... Let's just get you seated. And so we sit down, we get some water, and she gives us some water, and um, she ends up saying, uh, just give me a minute, I'm gonna go talk to my manager. So she disappears for like 10 minutes. And we're just sitting there with waters. Um, and this guy in a suit comes out, and he is looking like really Really fancy for, for like, the, you know, hotel restaurants are generally pretty good, but he is like really dressed up. Um, and he says this. Oh, he says, hey, what, what's, what's the problem? I heard about some pizzas or something. It's like, yeah, we accidentally ordered these pizzas. We need them cooked, but we, we like, we don't have anything to cook them with. Um... And he, and he looks at us, he looks back at the kitchen, he goes... Uh, so... Our kitchen is actually going through an inspection right now, and I'm really not supposed to do this. But if you sneak the pizzas in the back, I'll have a few seconds to grab them, I'll put them there. You sit there and wait. And I'll give them to you, no one will notice, but you'll have your pizzas, but be there. You have to be there, or they're going in the garbage. And Trihax is like, I could do that, yeah, I'll be there. <laughs> and so Tri- and he's like, okay, go now. And so Trihax freaking, he like sprints. He grabs the pizzas from, from where we left them. And uh, he grabs the pizzas from where we left them. Puts them, runs around the hotel to the back door of the, the kitchen, of the, the thing. <laughs> Gives them the pizzas, he takes the pizzas, puts them in the oven, Trihex stands around for 20 minutes. Uh, while Trihex is doing that, we empty out our wallets as a tip. Um, for water. <laughs> and, uh, we get the pizzas back, slightly undercooked, but at least they're edible. And we have our pizzas. <clears throat> and in the end, we did eat them. <laughs> so
So that's uh, that's my one America story. It's a good one. I really hope I have enough blocks for this. It's dangerous stone caves. Come on, stony peaks. Dripstone caves aren't this tall. Come on. Come on. Why do dripstone caves go up the No! You're gonna... This is disgusting. This is cruel. I don't have any blocks, so they're making me pillar with obsidian. I'm gonna have to mine this. I need these blocks. No. Stony Peaks! Okay, we made it. Didn't know you knew Trihex? Yeah, he's one of the, the first, like, kind of creators that I, I interacted with. Were you ever late for school? Uh, if I was ever late for school, I just didn't make it to school. Because uh, I, I lived, like, way out of town. There was one bu school bus that went past. If you miss the school bus, you, you just don't go to school. Cause uh, if you sleep in, you miss the day. Cause it's like it's a it's a drive to get to to, to town. It's not like you can walk. It's like by the time you walk to school, it's basically already done. And there's no like in my hometown, there's no bus system. Do you, do you ever get expelled? Yeah. Yeah, we um. We, uh, burned down the science, uh, spot. We accidentally made thermite, me and a friend. And, uh, in the science labs. Well, we do- when I say accidentally, I mean, like, we didn't know it would be that big of an explosion. Um. <laughs> you made thermite? <laughs> No, of course, I didn't make thermite. I just made it up. <clears throat> of course, I never got expelled. Uh. All right, bone meal and tiger to get berries. You know what? You try it and tell me if it works. How about that? Do -do -do. Thermite doesn't explode, but it burns really hot. I mean, if it's like burning metal, the metal liquefies and, you know, liquefied metal can pop. If your school is that far away, how close is the nearest hospital? Same distance. If you injured yourself and couldn't drive, uh, you just, you just die. You know, that's just, just rural things. You didn't get expelled for having a master key to the school and letting kids in early? Hey, don't... No, don't snitch. All right, what if I need to go back to school eventually? Do you live in a bigger city now? Yeah. Yeah, I do. All right, what biomes are we missing? Uh, we are only missing lukewarm ocean, deep frozen ocean, and a regular savanna. You know what? I'm gonna try it. I I, I have it open right here. Let's go uh, locate spruce biome, spruce old growth spruce taiga. That works. Here we go. Bang. Create creative mode gonna miss this series if the YouTube video does well and there's like more interest we could continue okay, it has to be grass and it's tiger um,
It looks like uh, bone meal and grass in a taiga biome does not give you red berries. Whoever said that? I was not being honest. Very sad. Are you not continuing on 119? Maybe we'll do, um, you know, some if there's more stuff to do in 119. Maybe we'll we'll add a few goals on. We'll see. I'm not sure. Time will tell. Anyways, um. All right, what biome do you guys want to be last? Uh, Savannah. Uh, Savannah, lukewarm ocean, or deep frozen ocean? Which is the final one? All right, I think most people are saying deep frozen. All right, we'll do Savannah next then. Locate biome, Savannah. 3,400 blocks away from spawn. 224 divided by 8. Okay. 3424 divided by 8. All right, those are the next chords we gotta go to. So I guess we're gonna go back this way. I think we... I, I'm pretty sure we've built that way before, so we might just have enough blocks. Um, but, just in case, I believe we have in excess, uh, we have just a stupid amount of blackstone. So I'll just grab the blackstone. Let's go bang. Bang. Now we have enough blocks. Mind you, have toggle sneak on? Yeah. I'm almost done with everything on the to-do list. It's crazy, isn't it? All right. What was the chords again? 28, 4... Okay. Yeah. Wait, I'm pretty sure the end of this is like 428 or something. Or we, we have like a bridge that we've made in that direction. So yeah, this won't be much. So we'll go to 428. And then it's just 28 off blocks off of this. was positive. Six, seven, eight. Yeah, it's actually really close to that portal. Mm -hmm. Can wandering traders get sweet berries? I wish. Are there any changes to the wandering traders in 119? 26, I believe that was correct. 28. Bang. Bang, here we go. No, they're all still shit. I mean, the trades are good for Skyblock, though. That's how we got, like, half of our plants. There's the new sapling. Okay. Alright. An all time favorite game Minecraft. Little Big Planet, maybe? Hard to say. Alright, where's the savannah? There's our savannah. Nice. Good. Do you get axolotls from wandering traders? No! Uh, we got axolotls by um, making a mob farm to get a zombie villager and a witch. And then we went to the nether and made a gold farm. And we used that gold and we chopped down some trees for apples to make a golden apple. And then we used the witch and the golden apple uh, to purify the zombie villager. The witch has a chance to throw a weakness potion. And then once we had, once we had done that twice to two zombie villagers, we were able to breed more villagers to get, um, some villager stuff. And then we ended up making a, uh, <clears throat> and then we ended up making a, uh, we made a village and a raid farm. And then with the raid farm, you're able to get, um, uh, you're able to complete raids, get totems of undying, etc. But 
that also gives you Hero of the Village. And then we made a segment or an area in our villager trading post with a bunch of mason villagers. And if you have Hero of the Village after completing a raid, then they can give you clay blocks. And then with those clay blocks, if you find a lush cave biome, you put water on top of the clay, then an axolotl could spawn on it. So that's how we got axolotls. Oh yeah, and then we bred hundreds of them to get a blue one. So you cheated? Oh yeah. No, no, we did it legit. We, it took forever. That was one of the hardest things to do. Uh, do you watch Daredevil? I don't think I'm caught up on the most recent season. Alright, let's see. Two biomes left. Oh my god. Okay, biome... Lukewarm ocean. All right. Negative three, four, eight, eight divided by eight. Negative four, three, six. One, eight, eight, eight divided by eight. Alright, that's our next location to get to. Um, I think actually what we could do is we can go to the end of this. It's going to overshoot a little bit, but you know, we need to go to negative, what, 436? Astralaxy, thanks to the tier 1. Yeah, that's a start. We have the blocks for it. Um, yeah, okay. This is our really, really awful uh, f fortress farm thing. We need to rebuild if we want to build do stuff in the future. All right, what were the cords again? Need a 436. Acer, thank you so much for the five subs. Thank you. Appreciate that. Four hundred, two, three, four, five, and six. And now we need to go to two thirty-six. So just a hundred blocks this way. Ah, <sighs> almost free from the the location grind, Joey. Thanks for the prime. What's another story? All right, all right. More inspiration. We have we have some time here. Good luck with the move. Thank you so much, Acer. Hmm. So what's another story? I could tell another one. I need to practice telling stories while I'm just doing casual stuff. Two, three, six. How long does it take to build this? Fears. Beach story. Any drug story? I've never really been interested in drugs. I felt like I liked my rudimental state. How do you get the tropical fish bleeding axolotls? We made a tropical fish farm. Injury. Let me think. What's a good injury story? An embarrassing story? I don't get embarrassed. Uh, but I'll tell you one anyways. So, uh, when I was younger, I don't I don't know why, but the texture of jeans, I just, I literally couldn't wear jeans. I could not stand the texture of jeans against my skin. It, I, I just, it would, I don't know, I couldn't stand it. So, I wore anything else except jeans when I was younger. Lukewarm motion, there we go. One biome remains. <clears throat> Excuse me? Wrong biome, kid. Okay. Um... 
And so I'd wear sweatpants, I'd wear joggers, and uh, I went to uh, I went to daycare when I was younger. So um, I would uh, you know hang out with the other kids. I wore cargo pants over jeans, like anything but jeans. Um, but I remember the day that that changed. The exact day. Oh my god, it's a thunderstorm on my other game. Oh my lord, no wonder there wasn't any rain. Uh... I was like, why the heck did I not hear it? 1696 six divided by 8. One five six eight divided by eight. All right. Anyways, I uh, uh lava's renewable via a cauldron, uh, and dripstone with wandering traders. But um, yeah, I there was this one day where, you know, at daycare we were all running around. And we were, uh, we decided that we were playing tag that day. And, uh, we ended up finding this rope just on the ground in the field. And, uh, we were, like, tying up all the people that got tagged. And I think I was, uh, you know, maybe grade, grade two or grade three, so. I was, like, eight, nine, ten, maybe. I'm not exactly sure. But, um... Nine or ten, can't exactly remember the age, but I was running around, and I ended up getting caught. And they uh, they ended up tying the um, they tied this rope you know, instead of around my waist. I had like a little belt loop on joggers, which was really weird. But they uh, they ended up tying it to uh, this little belt loop that I had on the joggers. We're running around, and they're they're still trying to chase people, and I'm have a little bit of leeway. You know, it's like a 20 foot rope, so I can run around and try and yell at people to, to warn them that they're coming to get them. And um, I go and I and I run full speed to the edge of the rope. And what I didn't know was that these were not any regular joggers. These were tearaway joggers. They had buttons down the side that just tore away. And so I ran full speed and my pants just tore away. And I looked down and suddenly I'm not wearing any pants. <laughs> and we're just outside. And uh, luckily there was a building nearby that I went and hid behind. I ran inside of the daycare and just sat in the bathroom, hoping to God that nobody saw me. I don't know if anyone saw me, but I just sit there. I sit there, I sit there for like 20 minutes and no one comes. And I'm like, someone's eventually going to use the bathroom and I can ask them to get my pants for me. So I just sit there and they're just laying down outside. So that was you. Um, eventually, Zach comes in, savior Zach that he is. It's like Tanner, are you in there? I'm like yeah. Where are you? We've been, why? Why you wait in here? We've been looking for you for like thirty minutes. Like, honestly, my pants are outside. Could you grab them for me? Like what? I, I guess. And so he goes, and uh, he apparently can't f he can't find my pants. Um, but the the person that's looking over us, you know, the per the the daycare lady, comes in not to the door, and she's like, "Why are you hiding in here?" And I'm like, "I I don't have any pants. They tore off. I 
They're they're outside. Could you get the? Why are, you're? We've been looking for you. You couldn't have told me. And I'm like, I don't have any pants. Like, why didn't you come over and tell me? You were surrounded by other people. You could have told me at least. I'm like, no. No, I was not. Eventually, I think Zach came back during that conversation, gave me my pants, you know, opened the door a little bit, gave them to me. So, I, I don't know if anyone saw me or not, but, man. Anyways, this should be the final biome. I think this is the last one. For the UK people, it sounds like you were nude. Pretty sure I had underwear on. But here we go. One of the biggest advancements. Adventuring time. It's time. No! No! The pole! No! Deep cold ocean. Hey, where's my advancement? Huh? Wait. This is deep cold ocean. Where's my advancement? There it is. <laughs> the last biome. Adventuring time. All right. Whew. Well, that took forever, huh? Adventuring time to discover every biome. Every biome kind of looks like the void to me, but whatever. That was big. That was big. Okay. Three advancements left. Three more that I can get. Are conduit power mighty fatigue dunes when you can get? Technically, if I play like a genius, I could get mining fatigue because mobs exist for like a brief moment before they fall to their deaths so if you're able to shoot a elder guardian you go through a portal and the instant you portal in you shoot an elder guardian with a potion of slow falling and then you just chuck some water down to catch it and then you build underneath it to save it um if you do that you can get mining fatigue but that'll be... That's how we're going to get a um, mushroom, most likely, if we ever get a mushroom. But anyways, let's go get rid of these freaking biomes, man. Like slow-falling arrows? Yeah, we can trade for slow-falling arrows. Uh, I think we have a few in our chest. Arrow invisibility, no. Yeah, we have some Fletchers up there that give arrows with potion effects. Bang, bang. All right. Done. Three advancements left. We have some that we can work towards as well that we can get a little bit further on. Uh, we could... I think a complete catalog will require some AFKing, so I don't really want to do that right now. Um, let's do Arbalistic. Arbalistic should be pretty easy. We just got to jam a bunch of mobs into a hole. I don't think that'll be too much of an issue. Um... Let's see what kind of what kind of things do we have here? We got a pig, uh, got a pig, a horse. What else can we breed? A sheep. Let's breed a pig and try and spawn a new chicken. Damn it! Yeah, let's breed a pig. Uh, we'll have a pig, a sheep, a chicken. A horse, 
and uh, a fish. We'll do cod or something. Arbalistic, whatever floats your goat in a complete catalog. Okay. You got axolotls? We do have axolotls, yep. We got a whooper and we got another one. You could do an armor stand? How does that work? Can you just shoot an armor stand with a crossbow? Uh, we're gonna have to go grab the witch area. Do I not have any carrots just sitting around? You do a villager? Nah. They've been too good to me. Breed. Breed. Uh, I guess I kind of need a golden carrot to breed the horses. Do I have any of those? Wait, I'm literally holding them. I can't. Are you tamed? You're tamed. You're not. Okay. Hey, get tamed, idiot. Get tamed. This stream is Gen 4. What's next stream gonna be? You can check the schedule. You'll find out there. All right, go screw. Yeah, you do it. Do it. Do it. Yeah. So, here's what we gotta do. We're gonna get all of these animals into a nice hole. So we're gonna go bang. I think we have leads here, don't we? Nope, okay. Casually watching, me too. So, yeah, we're gonna get a sheep, a pig. Uh, what is the guaranteed insta-kill? I think you hit them neutrally once with an axe. Although, this is sharpness on it, so we can't really do that. Uh, 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 uh. So, we can do a pig, a horse, and a sheep. We'll grab a cod. Uh, 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 uh. I really hate rain, man. We could also just let mobs spawn if I wanted to. Chicken. Uh, do we have eggs? If we have eggs, I'll do the chicken stuff. We have turtle eggs. We can kill one of the turtles. Chicken is guaranteed. One shot. Bang, bang, dead. Okay. I swear we had more eggs at some point, but... Hmm. Let's go to the witch farm. Uh, we need to grab... Uh, where's the witch killer? Yeah. No, that's the raid farm sword. Right. <laughs> it's the raid farm. Uh, let's go get the witch killer. Mm. Hit a sheep with your hand seven times. Raid is nice. I, some, one of the nicest sounds is really heavy rain and wind. I've never really experienced any like natural disasters relating to rain or wind, so you know, I don't have any negative feelings with it. All right, we're gonna use the witch killer. Poison, leave them all at half a heart. Poison would, but I don't have... I don't think I have any poison arrows. Good luck. Hey, thanks, Richard. We're getting the last few advancements. Yeah, just as long as you don't use a puffer fish, it's fine. Let's see. 
Um. <laughs> How close are we? Three advancements left. Have you done the advancement where you shoot four different mobs at once with piercing? No, I haven't heard of that one. We're doing the one where you get five literally right now. I was coming up here to grab... Uh, you... Wait, we can probably do a bu bucket of tropical fish? Bucket of cod? Yeah, wait a minute. We could do bucket of tropical fish, bucket of cod, bucket of salmon, and then the two animals we have over there. That'd be kind of funny. I think I'm gonna do it. Do I, do I have any, like, base trades that I can do here? I guess I have some iron. Here we go. Because, yeah, technically... You can miss with the fish, but, like, we have infinite tropical fish and cod. So, like, you know, as long as they're in the same corner, we're good. Oh, I already had cod here. Uh, I needed to grab an unenchanted axe to do the smacking. Um, what else? Leads. Cod, as in Call of Duty, yeah, their duty is to die. Woo! Okay. Ah, no chicken. Okay. Let's see. So, I, I'm pretty sure one axe hit. Shit. Uh, um. Just give me a sec. Try a weak axe hit? That was a weak axe hit! That wasn't a crit! Uh, we'll just make more. We just, yeah, just punch it seven times, apparently. It was probably, yeah, maybe I w that that shouldn't have killed. It was damaged before. We still have not had a second cow spawn. Yo. I want you to do it. A snow golem works? Does it? Nah, I think we'll be okay. Someone said seven punches. You, come here. I hate to do this to you. But it must be done. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Are pigs the same? How many hits do the pigs take? Less or more are the same. Nine on a pig. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine.
I'm sorry about this. Okay, that did two and a half. That did more than two and a half. That did way more than two and a half. Wait, will this fit in the hole? I don't think this horse is going to fit in the hole. First did three and a half? Ah. Okay. This is the death hole. Go away. How much do turtles have, actually? Wait a minute. How much health do turtles have? Horses can regenerate life on their own. Wait, they can? Yo, he did. Nice. Cow is so lonely. Just goes involved. There he is. Oh, never mind. Did you already put a fish in there? No. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Be careful. Careful. Turtles have 15 hearts. You can't... You can't, uh... Rope up a turtle, unfortunately. I really wish we had some eggs so I could, like, get two chickens to breed them. We could go grab a... I think that might have salmon in it. I can't remember if that generates salmon. I don't think it does when I think about it. Could use an axolotl. True. The baby horse works. How much health does a baby horse have? Do we know how much health a baby horse has? It's random. I yeah, couldn't do that. Oh, egg, please grow up. Ah, dang it. I th we've got to have some spare eggs. What happened to our chicken hole eggs? Use an armor stand? Is it guaranteed to break the armor stand? Like, I don't know how, how armor stands work. AA runners use armor stands. It doesn't need to be pre-damaged. Are you sure? Okay. Smooth stone slab. It'll break? Okay. I'll trust you. Fails. We gotta breed a bunch of animals all over again. <clears throat> Why are we doing this? You'll see in a sec, Mom. Mm. Ow. Stop. It, like, it's literally just go, stop. St I'm, it's, stop it. Okay. <sighs> All right, so there's an armor stand, a sheep, and a pig in there. And then we're gonna drop a tropical fi Can you not?
We're gonna drop a fish and a tropical fish in. Damn it. Damn it. Ha. What? Okay, here's what we'll do. Here's what we'll do. Bang. Bang. No! I don't know where the fish are. But we got it! Woo! <laughs> oh, it worked, okay. Oh, it worked. Let's go. Two types of fish, an armor stand, a sheep, and a pig. <laughs> Woo, okay. What an interesting selection of animals we had there, huh? Nice. All right, feast. All right, arbalistic. Very cool. Had no idea the armor stand would work. Yeah, it counts as a, a mob for whatever reason. Only two more. Complete catalog. And whatever floats your goat. Can you do Furious Cocktail? Oh yes, we did. We did. And it looks like, honestly, my hands are starting to get real sore. I really want to finish, but I didn't anticipate my hands being this sore today. So I think next time... We'll get the cats, and we'll get the goat. But I, I, I gotta take a break. My hands are getting really sore. And I don't want to overdo it. I want to be able to play tomorrow and for the rest of the week. Under 200 hours realistic? There's a chance, yeah. So I'm gonna call it. Sorry we didn't finish today. I know the title said doing all the advancements, but... Or f I guess the final advancements. We did some of the final ones. So I think that's fair. But let's find someone to raid. Who should we raid today? Oh, let's see. Um, raid Pokimane? Read. Uh, uh, well, Pooh is live. We never get to raid Grand Pooh Bear. We're gonna raid Grand Pooh Bear. We're doing hide and seek with. I don't know if we're doing it with tomorrow with Pooh. But we're doing hide and seek tomorrow. Probably. It'll be fun. It'll be a good time. Thanks so much for watching, everybody. Hope everyone has a real good, uh, real good time. So yeah, I'll see you uh, tomorrow.